Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back, everybody. Ron Harris here on the Ron Harris Muscle Channel, and we are covering live the Arnold Classic South America happening right now in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What I got up on screen was final call out from the judging. This is your top three in no particular order. We had heavy, heavy favorite Rafael Brandeo in the center. To the right of him in the red trunks, we see Tony O'Burton from the USA. And on the left, formerly from Russia, now living in Brazil, Vitaly Ogulnikov, a.k.a. Good Vito. Very, very strong top three here, guys. Uh, yeah, the lineup was not quite as competitive, for sure, as Ohio or UK, but this is a very, very solid top three. Looking right here, uh, it, it's it's close. Uh, some people have Tonio for the win over Rafael. We didn't do a poll this time, but I imagine Rafael probably has a slight slight favor in the court of public opinion as far as who's coming up. Oh, we got Mike. We got Jen. What's up, guys? Welcome hey. Back. What's up, dude? Look, the show's just getting started. Who's, I think is Wellness. I'm assuming Wellness is up first. Yeah, I'm showing the replay from uh, earlier. So I does anyone have That's eyes on the, on the on the live? Yes, they're just doing the, the regular Arnold intro. Okay. They have to be getting anything right now. Okay. Uh, let, let me know if they do the men first, because I, I suspect okay. they're going to almost. But yeah, yeah so do. we're looking at this final call out here, and Tonio was really pushing Rafael hard. And, you know, Mike was the only one of the four of us, myself, Jen, and Giles, who had Tonio winning. But you know, I'm starting to I'm starting to wonder myself now if Rafael really has this in the bag. <clears throat> I said Rafael it's, for the win. Yeah, yeah. His structure is so it's a very pretty structure to him. Um, again, because we're we're watching the with the cast, so it's the webcast, so I'm sure there the conditions a lot sharper than what we're seeing. But I'm sure they all look a lot sharper, obviously. You know what I mean? Right, right. Than right. what we're seeing on the webcast. You know what I mean? So gotta yeah. take that in consideration. But um Rafa said just that that crazy pretty structure, man. But mm -hmm. Tony was just a ball of bubbly muscle. <laughs> yeah. I mean yeah. I, I hate comparing I hate comparing him to Dexter because it's it's really not fair to compare anybody to some a past great because it sort of takes away their own unique identity. But mm. I see so many similarities with that. Oh, uh, he's he's always on. He's always been on. The, the one Olympia, he was he wasn't off. He wasn't as good as he as he has been. But he's got the formula now. It looks like he's got the formula down mm. to peaking. So he just he gets better every show. Yeah, he placed tenth so, this year. Uh, not this year, I mean tenth last year at the Olympia, didn't he? Uh, we're talking about Tony or Rafael? Tonio. Uh, I believe he was a little higher. I think he was eighth or ninth. Eighth. The... Eighth. Eighth or ninth, I believe, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Which, you know, That's in, good, man. We were doing our previews, and I don't think I even mentioned him in, you know, nah. which <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be wouldn't be the first time I've missed somebody <laughs> that ended up doing well. But I don't I wasn't thinking about him in the Olympia as a as a top a front runner at all. But I, said, no, I tell please. you what, a few more pounds on this guy. A few more pounds. And that's all he needs. He doesn't need 10, 15 pounds. No. Even like three or four pounds on his frame would be a nice – That's a, it would look good on his frame. Just so he doesn't need – I mean, he doesn't need to hold like, you know, 230 pounds. It's just such a pretty aesthetic physique that always comes in shape. And, again, you know, when you're lean, like, it's an illusion. You know, uh, when you see these guys in clothes, right, you're like, yeah, whatever. But he just explodes on stage, just comes alive. Yeah. So, you know, somebody was uh, commenting on the in the, the video from before. They said Rafael was too cocky. You know, it's 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 a fine line between confidence and cockiness. I didn't see him like shoving anyone out of his way or or you know being disrespectful in any way to the no. other guys. I, I, no, I don't. He's I confident, he's, which he should be. My God, he looks great. He's in his home country. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I just you have to exude all that comes out on stage, man. That. You can see the confidence on stage when somebody's out there. You know what I mean? So, and you can say it's a fine line between confidence and cocky. Like Flex Wheeler was a little cocky. He was. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> right, but it's just <laughs> but he's like Rafa is a confident guy. You know what? Just a couple weeks ago, or about a month ago in Ohio, myself and Giles, I think we were all a little critical of Ramon Dino for not appearing mm -hmm. too confident. Uh, you know, I'm sure he was. Going through some stuff in his personal life, you could tell he wasn't he wasn't one hundred percent there mentally. No, but it, it it shows when somebody looks great, but they're not exuding that aura of a champion and that confidence. It takes mm -hmm. away because you're like, dude, you, you look great. Why are you why are you not really acting like you're the winner here? You're going to win. Sure. You and, 
like show it. You know what I mean? Like show it. Like you're the winner. Like like when Bumstead comes out, he looks like he is the winner. You know? Sure. Yeah. That stash. If yeah. John and Carlos were here, it'd be very show for for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I mean that that would have been the rest of the top five. Those three plus Jonathan and Carlos. I guarantee oh, you. Yeah. I could bet you good money. And I want to. Would love to see how Carlos would have done this lineup too, man. Just like itching to see how good that get, that guy looks. He's got, he's got so much muscle on his frame. You know, dialed in 100%. I think he's capable oh. of beating Raphael. Is he in New York oh, Pro, yeah. you think? Is he what? You think he'll be in New York Pro? He should be. I mean, it was just it was a personal tragedy, you know, a personal family yeah. tragedy. I believe it was his dad said his twin, my son's twin, and I don't know if that was a literal thing. I, I you know, I'm not going to message him and ask. Yeah. If, but it was either his brother or like his cousin or somebody he grew up with, like a brother, that, that passed away just uh oh, just no. last week so mm. that knocked him out of the show uh oh, guys in what, darren what are you doing in medellin colombia for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious am i, am I being am i being that's rude by saying nothing good happens in medellin colombia well i mean it's, i think it's because we've, well, we've seen too many narcos shows and we yeah <laughs> we think with we still think it's 1985. Griselda, mm -hmm. man, that was a great show. Did you guys watch Griselda? Oh yeah, yes. It, yeah, they. She was a, a psychopath, straight psychopath. <laughs> yeah, Griselda and uh, you know was it Pablo Escobar? I don't know if he was from Medellin. and they probably. Oh yeah, they yeah. were. They both were. I love them. Any any of those kind of shows, I'm like all about all those. <laughs> so I don't watch a lot of Netflix, but when those are on, it's, I'm on that. Well, I went past Raphael for the individuals. Yeah, give him his give him his props. Well, we're waiting for some some action to start. Are yeah, they they're doing some kind of thing on stage right now. Some kind of like tamers up there with a the, with a bunch of other guys. So I hear they're going to do a life lifetime achievement award next week in Detroit. Oh, nice! And and it's for Sam Solak, and he's only twenty one. <laughs> oh god, that was a, that was a, that was a joke. That was a, that poor attempt at a joke. My bad. Uh, oh, Sam. You know, like, no, I. It's, that I, you know, am I hate? Am I envious? Of course. The kid's got like a zillion followers. Every yeah. young kid I know follows mm -hmm. him. Every single kid at the gym that I know that's under the age of basically thirty, they watch all his videos. That's and I've crazy watched him. To me, man. Have you watched any of his videos though? I watch. I've watched like about five minutes of. It. He just, he's just talk, like just talking. Just, yeah. I don't know. But it's, it's it's it comes across. He's he's not full of himself. He's got no ego. No. And he doesn't claim to be an expert. Um, you know, the ego lifting, he does the ego lifting thing, which all the young kids can relate to because they do, what, yeah, that's what we did when we were that age. We were ego, lifting. yeah, it, it, and you know, you can't, you can't be, you can't fault him because we did the same shit, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we, he was eight, I would eat, want to eat, sleep, and train. That's all we wanted to do, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we, we didn't have a camera, right. we had pagers, but like, you know, <laughs> pagers, <laughs> and you know what, the <laughs> fact that he doesn't eat chicken breast and broccoli and, and potatoes yeah. and rice all day. I think that makes them more endearing to these kids because they don't want to eat it that is. way. They want to eat the no. cereal and chocolate milk and the donuts like they see them doing. You know, and gosh. you can do that when you're that age. You know what I mean? Like that, that's not sustainable but to your 30s and 40s, but you're 21. Like when you're that age, you feel like Superman anyway. Yeah. You're invincible. You know what I mean? So hey, we have uh we have a request. Let's start with you, Mike. Top three countries with the best bodybuilders. I don't know why he said Thailand first, but uh I, I would that wouldn't be a uh, I was the United States. Yeah. Um, I would say <laughs> Korea. A lot of good guys in Korea. Yeah. Those guys are freaks down there. Yeah. And I, I'd say Gr Great Britain, just <laughs> based on some of the guys that, that came out of there and the guys that never turned pro that probably could have turned pro because they only gave away one pro card. Good point. Good point. All right, Jen, you're up. Jen with a G, apparently. Jen. <laughs> uh, uh, are they talking about of all time or currently? Whatever you want. It's, it's not clear. So whatever you, however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to say U.S. first. Yeah. Yeah. USA. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it to Iran because of Beirut and Hadi. Yeah. Mm, okay. And then I'm going to give it to Nigeria. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Hmm. Good now I have to, I, I know who I got for sec. I, it's USA, of course. I'm going to put Egypt in there. Yeah. Egypt has pumped out a ton of bodybuilders. Yeah. And just to be inclusive of all divisions, I'm going to go Brazil because Brazil, the past like four or five years, 
They've had great people in 212, women's physique, women's bodybuilding figure, open, like every division. Wellness, they're dominating. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah, I, I agree. Iran has tremendous. Korea. Korea's been pumping out a ton of great people the oh, past yeah. few years. A lot. Could a they, lot. Could, could, just, they, could they not leave Korea just until weird. recently? Well, you never saw that like 20 years ago, bro. You never saw – you you would see guys you know, from around the world. Maybe they get a good look. Maybe they wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So it's just yeah. – it's more you know, worldwide universal now. Cause, I think, too, because the internet. Right. You right. can reach places you could never reach with a magazine, you know, and it, it's instant. You don't have to wait three months for yeah. it. You can get you act, instant access. Yeah. I miss those days. I miss, like, reading Peter oh, McGuff's man. contest – Reports, Julian Schmidt's contest reports and flex. I mean, oh my God. First, Kennedy, the gossip comms you go through first. Good times, man. Good times. Well, we can't tell by the live stream, Dave, because we're not there. So typically when I've been to shows and then I watch the live stream later, uh, or even when you see, I don't know if Gilko's there. I don't know if they went all the way down there for this, but if you see like this super HD 20K or 1 million K, whatever they have now. Versus this, it's so much crisper. So I think everyone's probably about 10 to 20% leaner than what they look like on this yeah. stream. That would be my best guess. Yeah. Uh, we got to stop calling this guy Nathan. Said, you got to be there. So Nate, there's not, there's no, Nathan Dash is not in the show. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a guy with a similar kind of hair. And so he has a lot of physical similarities named Andre Carlao, Carlao from Brazil. Right. Uh, got him for fourth. Yeah. He looks damn good. I don't know. I have him fourth. I have him ahead of uh, William. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Because, like, Vito. Vito's tan was horrific. It was it was not the doing color, any favors. No. Looked like he no. took a mud, mud bath. And there's no... Or he didn't have any oil on him either. That's there was what no, it is. No pop. And, but these are these are rookie... He, he's a rookie, but you, you competed before, right? Yeah. Like, you've competed. And the little details, especially at this level... Like color makes that makes a humongous difference. Right. When your color's off, and and it's just not that that pop isn't there, you cost yourself placings. I would assume he's going to come back in better with better color tonight if yeah. they fix that situation. Um, but you can't leave anything to chance, man. Like you can't leave anything to chance at all. This is funny, Dave. Do you really not know who Sam Selleck is? Are you serious? <laughs> you have Google on your on your computer, or your phone. <laughs> Put in Sam Sulek. He's got like, I don't know, 30 million followers. He's got like almost as many followers on Instagram as Bumstead. He's got way more on TikTok. He's got two or three million YouTube subscribers. He's a kid just turned 22. I don't even know where he lives, what state he's from. Do you guys know? I have no clue either. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. I don't know either. But he's signed with Hostile Nutrition, Fouad's company. Makes great money from that, but he doesn't even need it. He gets millions yeah. and millions of views. Out. Yeah. Oh, you're going to check it out? Okay. So he's a tremendously popular kid who's never competed. Jacked, huge, big, giant shoulders, arms, everything. Uh, bushy, bushy broccoli hair. Always wears a hat. So totally, he, totally like he's, <laughs> Go ahead. He said he wanted to do classic. He, was in, he wanted to do classic, but I don't. Oh. From that, he's not a classic guy. He just, he's not a classic physique. No. You know what I mean? He's already way over the weight limit anyway. I don't know how tall is he. A tall kid? Uh, I've seen him next to like Bumstead. I want to say he's like five ten. That's okay. my best guess. And he's like two forty, two fifty. He's already way okay. too big for classic. Mike, apparently, that get would... big. Get big is watching you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are funny. Dude, you, is that still is that still going? Get big. It's it's still around, dude. Wow. It is still. It's. I think the last one is, but it's not. You know, it's not all bodybuilding anymore. It's like maybe. 50% bodybuilding, 50% trolling. So <laughs> they, they always had a high, high amount of trolls. Around. Oh yeah, it was great. It was just got kind of thick skin for that. People like people, they would troll Bob and Sean. It was great times. Iran has some crazy bodybuilders, a hundred percent. Yeah, crazy genetics. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we don't even know. Yeah. I mean, Kamali has said we don't even know half no. of the best talent over there because they've never been able to leave Iran to compete anywhere. That's crazy, man. Sam Sulik is from Delaware, Ohio. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, no way. There's is he Delaware. really? Delaware mm -hmm. is a city it's, in Ohio? Wow. It's, Born and raised just, in Delaware, Ohio. Wow. It's a suburb of Columbus. It's just okay. maybe like 30 minutes north of downtown Columbus. Okay. There you go. So that explains a lot. 
No kidding. And his younger brother is a professional golfer. That's right. That's really? right. <laughs> Mark Sulik. Yeah. No, I remember they were comparing no him because his brother's natural and there was everyone saying, well, that's what he would look like if he was natural. He would look like his brother, but I don't and think his brother's trying to look like Sam regardless. No. And his sister is a baker. Oh, wow. Got the whole family in there. Wow. Professional golfer. Oh, man. there's there's his brother. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah I mean, young. I'd rather be a professional golfer in terms of money. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's a yeah. little bit better. Guys, make some. So this guy, his top three countries are USA, Brazil, and Cuba. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Cuba. I've been to Cuba. Uh, when was the last? I mean, when was the last great bodybuilder that came out of Cuba? Sergio. I mean, Sergio Oliva. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Lila Brada. Yeah. Oh, there've been a few. I'm senior. Saying, it's not like they're pumping oh. out a bunch of people in, in the last like twenty years or anything. I, can't think I mean, no, is there? No. They can't leave is Cuba. <laughs> That's the main thing. They can't leave. <laughs> yeah, you can't get it. You, you, I think you would need like special visa and all kinds of money. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, they're not. They, they can't get over here. It's, it's very difficult. Yeah, that, yeah, Cuba's not the not exactly the hotbed of a uh, bodybuilding. Germany, yeah, Germany's all Germany and Austria have both put out a lot yeah. of good bodybuilders for sure. Oh, there you go. Arnold, Arnold being from Austria, yeah. uh, Urs Kalachinsky from Germany, Dennis Wolf from Germany. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dennis James grew up in Germany. I think he's technically German. He moved to Thailand when he was much older. Peter um, Hensel. Uh, that's right. Oh, they had tons. Damn it, Jen. What about UK Tiger? Won't be, <laughs> won't be happy in Nigeria. Uh, I mean, UK. It, you should have given us like top five. Top three is too, too limiting. <laughs> but I mean, okay. Well, if you ask me for my all time um, when it comes to countries that have had yeah. oh, successful oh. bodybuilders. I'm going to say USA first. Yeah. Um, I would probably go with Germany second. Okay. And then I would say the UK. Looks like yeah. we're hating on, we forgot about Canada. Um, and a lot of those Canadians couldn't turn pro. Like they were, they were good with that one pro card. Right. It was just, you know what I mean? Even until a few years ago, I think two people a year turned pro in Canada. Wow. It was like it used to be in the USA, and the UK was the same way yeah. for many, many years. I yeah, guess Brandon Curry's win. getting the, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, here? Yeah. He they, they're oh, showing wow. Brandon Curry now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's good. Uh, it's certainly, he won the Olympia. He won the Arnold Classic a couple times. What the heck? Why not? Dude, when he won the Olympia, they're showing, he, he actually damn good the year he won the Olympia. Hmm. Those couple years. Yeah, he looked damn good. Yeah, you don't win the man. you don't win the Olympia without being freaking no, phenomenal. Like, you know? and he, you think about he's he he won has been second quite a bit. Like he's had a, the last part of his career, bro, just been he still fantastic. hasn't he hasn't dipped lower than fourth place all this time since no. he won. Come on, that's crazy. I mean, he gets no credit. I, he's very underrated no. in that aspect. Because I mean, people, he's not the hot new thing. That's why. No, exactly. You know, we get he bored with like people he, he looks, like, go away, go away, Brandon. We want the new guys. The you, new guys. He, you're forgotten about. Him. He looks right. a little downsized, but, you know, it's it's April. He's got time. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's only April. He'll probably go to – because he's a lifetime qualifier for the Olympia. He doesn't need to do any yeah. shows. Remember that. So, October, you know, he could head to Kuwait in, uh, you know, July, August, September. July, August. yeah. Probably July, at the, July or uh, August at the latest and – Blow the f up like he always does. Yeah, it just does, man. And you oh, know, too, man. Like that's on this. that's <laughs> it's smart to do that. It saves your body when you get older. Five thousand gyms in Tehran. I don't know about really? that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I said top countries as of now in in yeah. this this year. Let's just say because Iran was never like a hot bit of either. There was that one guy. Remember that Prem Chad guy from like the eighties? He was from like, India. Olympia, like an eighties. Was he from India? Yeah. See what I mean? I don't even know that. I thought he was from. I, I don't Iran. remember anyone from Iran until, geez. Oh, God. Someone in the team. I'm trying to think, maybe? dude. I can't think. Of, like I said, I don't think they could leave Iran. They couldn't leave. I think they were always doing well at like the world amateurs. Remember, those are the years yeah. where it made more sense for them to keep winning their pro card, but not take the pro card. Because exactly. like, their, their exactly. countries would pay them very nicely a handsome salary, a house, a car. To compete and give them bonuses uh, if they won. So there were guys like in the middle. A lot of those Middle Eastern countries would turn pro 
three, four, five times and never yeah. took the card. Because over and over and over again. Even um Kamal Garni stayed an amateur for many, many years. Yeah. He was he represented his own country, Libya. Then I think he was with uh was it Bahrain or what was was one of those countries. Yeah, over there. They were they took they took really good care of him. One of the Emirates. Like he did very well. Yeah. So I would I'd do the same thing. Jen, is this your friend? <laughs> Somebody you know, Jen? No. <laughs> but thank you. It is Ron's channel, though, so it, that's why Ron runs the broadcast. <laughs> well, Jen did find out Sam's from Ohio. That makes sense. Well, listen, Sam's Sam's cool with me. He's a Buckeye now, so he's like family, so I'm cool with the kid now. <laughs> that made all the difference in the world, bro. Yeah, I mean, Columbus, we got Nick from Nick Strength and Power. Columbus, you can go on yeah. and on. Nick Francois. Tons of people. Francois. Nick, oh, yeah. Like the Arnold Classic. Who's Hotbed? The Arnold Classic's been there since '89. It's never, it's never leaving. There's, there's, no, dude. There. Why would they? No, no. Because you listen, you got that. Everything's right there. The Expo's right there. You bring in like God knows how much money to that to the economy every year, mm -hmm. you know, to that city. So it's just, it's, and and they just make that that pilgrimage. It's just everybody makes that pilgrimage from Cincinnati, Detroit. It's within driving distance of a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Oh, his Arnold's son's out there now. Well, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you got his son with the his son with the uh, with the maid. What's his name? Joe, Joe Baina. Joe Baina. Oh, yeah. 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 He's out there not talking. Oh, wow. Should I go? That's he's hilarious. At the, he's at the microphone? Yeah. What the hell? Why would they have him out there? I don't know. He's tamer. He's saying a few words. Maybe it's a representative of the Arnold Sports Festival. Let's see. Yeah. Well, interesting. Interesting. I'm not That's listening. nuts. I wonder if it's in English or if he, you think he learned Portuguese? Can you, can you hear Mike? Let me see. Hold on. Can you hear what he's saying? Present the United States. Oh, there we go. Be here in Brazil for the very first time. It's English. And, uh, I can unmute it. You know, in South America. I think they'll be all right just to do that. It's very special and it's a huge honor for me. Ele falou, ó, desculpe que eu tô muito casual, mas eu tô honrado de estar aqui no palco representando meu pai e tô aqui no Brasil ajudando com essa mensagem. Yes, so I, I really appreciate all the hospitality, the love. Everyone has been so beautiful here. I'm so excited to come back every year for the Arnold Classic in okay. America. Okay. Wow. Looks like he's in charge now. How amazing well, I mean, Brazil has been. I didn't know he was this popular where they invite him every year. God bless him. Yeah. Thank you. Is Arnold there? You better be. Oh, look, look there's been. Oh, you're on a delay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if uh, no Arnold has I'll to be, be at every Arnold. He better be at every Arnold. No, watch. They're gonna show a video. I don't want to be a spoiler, but it's gonna come up in a second. Oh, okay. Enzo bodybuilding. Vamos ver o que o que. Oh, there we go. I can do it. This is a muscle contest international on YouTube, guys. Well, we can't hear it anyway. We can only. But they got the subtitles for the subtitles. He must not be there. He's sending a video, so he's probably not. He's not there. But he sent. He sent Junior. My Brazil. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Wow. I wonder why he didn't said make his, it. Said his son. Oh, he just had heart surgery. Remember? Did, oh, he, did he have another heart? Oh, yeah, he had heart. Oh, yeah. He had a pacemaker put in. Oh, geez. Geez, my uh, my father-in-law just had a pacemaker put in like a week and a half ago. No Man, kidding. Everybody's getting well. He's almost eighty years old. How's he doing, Ron? He's doing fine, you know. I mean, seventy. These guys gonna be eighty years old in August. I mean, he's had a pretty good run. If if I make it to eighty, I'll be like, wow, bro. Crap. Tell me about it, man. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a nice time bad for us. So this is another Iranian that we forgot about, Baito yeah. Abbaspor. He passed mm -hmm. away. Yeah, he was yeah, good, man. He passed away. He was, he was very good. good. I can't think of one no, Iranian pro that wasn't good. He was a uh, Baito. No. Was a, he was a two twelve, I think. He was two oh two, two oh two or two twelve, yeah, I guess. He, I mean, he was he was one of the first guys. He was in those early years yeah. of the. He might have still been doing it right when it turned to two twelve. I don't think he lived. He was too much longer. Too that. man, no. Yeah, they're all jacked. They're all super thick and dense. Those guys. Hard to be a pro. They have good condition. Hmm. No. Yeah, so I'm saying I don't remember ever seeing. I mean, the Middle Eastern guys in general are very consistent with their conditioning. It's rare that you see them show up out of shape. No, I, I think they, they don't have a problem suffering. And if their coach says two hours of this and no carbs for a month, they're like, I, I bet. And the camel crew, really, the camel crew was everything for a little while. They were just, 
Kuwait. Popping out like guys, man. Yeah. yeah. Is Iran? I don't need. Are they a? Are they a poor country? I mean, are most of the people poor? I, I, I don't know. Hadi is like a millionaire over there. They said the the our money to that it's, it's it translated to a crazy amount, a couple million dollars. What mm. he won. Wow. To our, but um, I don't know, man. I don't because you know we have this view of like the Middle East of just like desert and concrete. But I'm sure it's a lot more. <laughs> you know, oh, so it's true. Unfortunately, we do. It's yeah, letting, letting us know that. Uh, but the, the reality is that's not away. the case. So this guy is telling us. I assume he's in Iran, or he knows right. some another Iranian passed away from ins- trying the first time trying insulin. But he says in Iran the gear is pharma cheap and legal. I don't doubt that, dude. I mean, why? If if very few people have the money to buy it, though, what what would it matter anyway? Already? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting dark out. Oh. I think we're on the same. Are we all on the same time it, for a sunset? I think so. Not, well, it's very sunny. Where you guys are still a little further east. Oh, there it Just because I know okay. when. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know when like uh, and that baseball game is a nice dark there before it's dark down here. So. It's... Okay. Well, if you notice, I have, I have the shades drawn because the light still gets in, but it'll yeah. hit the poster and then it'll hit the camera and be yeah. like. Whoosh. Glare, yeah. glare, glare. Like you can see it over here a little bit behind uh, me. Pro yeah. wellness has started, guys. So uh, I predict somebody from uh, Brazil will, will reign Brazil. supreme. Don't take this. Because every single, it's like, I think they have 12 or 15 competitors in wellness and they're all from Brazil. I mean, Brazil is just killing it in wellness. Killing it. Dude, what mm-hmm. happened to like, you remember like Yurishna and Angela were like just winning everything a couple years ago? Yeah. And yeah. now it's just kind of, they just, kind of just disappeared well we still had i think uh the first olympia champion she's still she's been winning the olympia every year right yeah the Mar- marine right no what's her name the wellness Stop, champion? No. Matos, what is, Franci- 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 Matos. yeah Fra- yes yeah 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 she's i think three-time champ now is she three times now i think she is Damn. yeah so remember the first year they've only had wellness at the olympia i think three years 21 22 23 is that yeah. right is it or is it, tw- is it four 20? years I want to say 20 because I remember the first year. You it wasn't as good year? because COVID, yeah, because COVID, remember, there weren't a lot of girls, there wasn't a lot of girls because COVID that year. It was just a different look. Right. And then the following year, the Brazilian site like, showed up and everything went bonkers. It was, uh, dude, they had, yeah, it was the COVID. It must have been 20, 2020 because I remember there was a lot of, everyone still had to wear the masks. And yeah. I remember they had the finals for wellness in the expo. They didn't have it in the on the main stage that year. Because it was the first year, and I think about 500 or more people came up from Brazil just to watch the first Wellness Olympia, and they went bananas, bonkers. Yeah. The whole time that the Wellness judging in the finals were on, they they were. I was like, oh my god, these my ears were bleeding. I had a hearing. I had my hearing aids in. I had to take them out. They were so loud. Wow. Oh, god bless they, them. They, they, what? they found their calling. What the heck is a Zoroastrian? Is that some bizarre religion? Is I that think, some li- I think religion? It is a religion. Yeah. Is it? I, uh, I'm not sure what that is, honestly. I don't, is that a type of Islam? I don't even know. I'm not. Hang on. I'll find out. Zoroastrian. And I don't, well, I don't know if this is that he actually is one. Just because Catherine says he is doesn't mean he is. I'm not, I'm not doubting you, Catherine, Old, but I am doubting you. <laughs> one of the world's oldest known living religions has origins for distant past. Good Lord. So like, every, it, so like everything. Oh, so it's what is it like a blend of, of it's what? Like, Judaism, Christianity. It was shared Judaism? by. It shared. Let's say shared by the ancestors of nomadic herding tribes that later settled in Iran and northern India. It doesn't really tell me much. I don't know what the heck. I don't is. know. I don't. Even, I don't know. But I, he's Jack. That's all we care about. I thought he was a Muslim. I, I just assumed he was a Muslim. Uh, it's o o twenty eight, which I guess that's twenty eight past midnight, right? Yeah. Isn't that milita- how military time works? Yes. Uh, bad military time. So yeah. N- Norway. That's, which, that's midnight. It's almost 1230. Norway's yeah. where AJ, AJ's from. It's yeah. Like, very cold place. It's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah. So if it's half past midnight, ditch comfort. Uh, if you're going to stay up for all of open, I think oh, you're going to be up for another another hour and a half or so. Yeah. Yeah. Because they only have two divisions. You know, I, I, I like when they only have a couple divisions. Cause I'm lazy and I don't like to stay up too late myself. So <laughs> I know, dude. We're, we're just gonna so do. Uh, my guess is they'll do wellness here. The this is the they'll do this is the confirmation round. 
Um, they're going to make take them off stage. They're going to bring back the bodybuilders for mm-hmm. confirmation round. Then they'll come back and do wellness awards, and then they'll do the open awards. Typically, that's how they do it. Yeah, the Paul, Paul, yeah, Paul's routine. Then, yeah, was there eight guys? Eight guys? Just eight guys in the open? Eight or nine? Nine. But you know what's nine good about the, the best thing about that is we'll zoom in on everyone like this. You get to see people closer yeah. for the routine. It's still not, you know, Gilco. I don't know what, how Quality. many Ks that is. It's it's super HD, 4K, blah, blah, blah. That's crazy. The way they do it. But it looks good, though. Those pictures look good. Whatever it is, it looks awesome. Uh, he's talking about the 500. He's talking about next year for the Arnold. I predict nobody from the Olympia will skip the Arnold next year. That's my nope. prediction. You think Derek will do it? Yep. I think yep. so. Yep. Yep. I think so. I mean, Nick Walker already said he would do it on his podcast with Guy, whether he wins the Olympia or not. So I think you would have everybody at who why would you skip a chance for five hundred thousand? Oh, you can have the even, same Olympia lineup as you even, you're in the same lineup. And even if you're Mr. Olympia, five hundred thousand yeah. bucks is still that's a half a million dollars. It's it's that's still a, a nice money. a nice payday for first for a for a contest. And if you win the Olympia at I mean it's four hundred as of now, that's close to a million dollars of prize money. Yeah. That and someone then, could possibly that there's you know, hey, listen, that's that goes a long way when you got a child. And Dubai you know? is Dubai is uh, before or after Olympia? I can't remember. Before I believe I believe. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. But I think it's before. Yeah, I think it's I think right before. Right. So why not do all three? Why not just take everyone's money? That's a nice payday, man. Like it's just yeah. I don't know. Like you, you get the opportunity to make a lot of money, but it just seems like guys just stay home. Just you know, what I mean, just do that. I mean, like it worked for Sean Ray, right? Just doing the Olympia every year, but he's traveled the world, right? He yeah. you know made appearances, and it was just a different time. No. Yeah, because you could do that back then. You could go make appearances and make tons of money. You know, go to a gym or something, and they'll give you a few thousand bucks, and then you sell another yeah. few thousand bucks worth of uh, merchandise, videos, pictures. You know, they can't make that kind of money anymore. You can't sell pictures anymore. Everyone just wants to take a picture with you for free. Yeah, you can't sell videos and DVDs anymore because you're putting everything on your YouTube and your TikTok and all that for free and your Instagram. So Damn. you know, the guys back in the day had. In a lot of ways, there's all, there's more opportunity for more people to make money now. But back then, the top guys were able to make a lot. They used to go to FIBO. I remember oh. like guys like Dillette, Cormier, Flex Wheeler, they would tell me they would go to FIBO and come back with like $50,000 in cash sewn into their jackets. So mm. they, I didn't say anybody in particular, but guys like that because I don't want to accuse them of tax fraud or anything like that. But, you know, guys were doing that so they didn't have to declare. Yeah. But, you know, 10 bucks for a picture, 10 bucks for a picture, 20 bucks for a picture, thousands of people buying that over the course of a weekend. Uh, your videos, I mean, the money, the, the, it was all cash. There was no credit card transactions. Remember, no. Good, good old days. Remember Jay's line at the Arnold? Jay's line at the Arnold would be absolutely insane. Yeah. Like just selling pictures, DVD. It was a whole, it was a production. Remember his wife was there and it was yeah. just, it was not. And, and back, even Muscle Tech for a while was giving away, those guys gave away free pictures. At the journals, yeah. they just yeah. signing free pictures away. I mean, she Muscle Tech, uh, who I'm I'm working for now, they were probably the best example of the company that paid awesome, oh. awesome sponsorship deal salaries to these guys. Back yeah. in the days, it was like it was almost a cliche, like they could just afford to stay home and play video games, go to the gym, eat and sleep. They didn't have to do anything else. Make a few appearances for Muscle Tech during the year, but they were getting like you know a hundred. Hundred minimum, but the top guys were getting like a half a million bucks a year back then. Just nice dough, man. Just very nice money. God dang. Uh, I agree with you, S. McG, Wellness and Bikini. Very hard to judge. I cannot judge them. I suck at judging Wellness and Bikini. No, anything, clue. zero anything weird, idea. Me neither. When there's no posing, I can't judge. <laughs> I really can't. What am I gonna say? Well, she's the prettiest. You know, they all have great. <laughs> they all have very similar physiques. Yeah. Um, I would have a rough. I would have to look sit next to Tyler, Tyler Mannion for like a, a few shows, and he wouldn't do this. It would be ridiculous. It would never happen. But I'd be like, Tyler, what are we looking for here? Come on. I would have to have someone like that with the eye explain right. everything to me. Right. And then maybe I would get it. But I don't get it right now. Because a tenth place girl to me looks good, just as good as a fifth place girl. Like, mm-hmm. what do I know? Zach, this is out of the blue. King Khan potential is prime before he got injured. He was damn good. I mean, I don't think we ever saw him anywhere near as good as he could have been. No, not even remotely Cohen. close, dude. Uh, I mean, he was it, thick and he was dead. That that old school, like that British thickness, man. Those guys were like him and like JD Dowdu and 
they had a density to their physique. They had a real heavy yeah, look to them. That was a name from the past, JD. I was actually thinking of JD because Eddie Abu is pretty famous now with his. He's got like three and a half million followers on Instagram. You know, he rails against uh, processed food, sugars, yeah. energy drinks, all kinds of stuff. And I remember doing. I did an interview years ago for Muscle Mag. It was an arm training article with him and JD. They both had crazy. JD read really crazy, and then Ernie, oh, Ernie, Taylor, freak, Ernie, Ernie Taylor had those those shot up triceps that were just ridiculous. <laughs> remember his quad? He did start doing his quads. So his quads were all funky looking. I don't remember. I just remember his triceps. <laughs> oh, they were terrible. I just he said it was just Deca. Peter yeah. McGuff, I asked Peter McGuff, and Peter McGuff said he, he told him it was just Deca. And I'm like, whatever, man. Well, whatever it is, it's just a whole Deca. bottle of Deca every day in each tricep, maybe. <laughs> No, because like Valentino said, he used to do shit like that all the time. He'd put like a whole bottle of Sipionate in his biceps every day. Jeez. For you know, what? To have these big stupid uh, looking arms. You know, he's talking, that's what he was known for. Those yeah. that was it was, it was yeah, God. Yeah. And I, I believe know. I believe him that I believe Valentino didn't use Synthol. I believe it was no. just gallons of gear. You know, it's all oil, it's all gonna stretch out the fascia and make scar tissue. You know, if you x-rayed it, I bet there was a ton of scar tissue in there. You know how that would hurt the pain? Good Vito versus Martin Fitzwater next week in, in, in Detroit. So I guess Good Vito is going up against Martin next week? Wow. That'd be a very good matchup. I don't know. I'd have to see them both because this is the first day we've ever seen Good Vito on a yeah. pro stage. I've never seen him compete. I've seen little clips from his like pro qualifier that he won, but he was like 80% condition there. And Martin's, Martin's legit, man. Martin gets, pretty, Martin gets very hard condition. Yeah. He brought some crazy condition last time he could beat it. Who's sniffing own up? Who's sniffling? <laughs> Talking about what? dude, allergies. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Allergies really bad. So was it John's? It was like clearing his throat? Or, I mean, it might also yeah. be her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's a cat sniffling? Which cat is that? That's Callie. Callie? You have, you have two or three? Three now. How about you, Mike? What's your cat count? Three for, for I mean three. That's probably I can't. I won't ask for more. I've tried. I don't think it's gonna go over too well. I mean we've we've tried this one. To, this one we, right here is the oldest. She is gonna be sixteen. Wow, wow. But that's cats can go to like twenty five, can't they? The oldest they cat right now, Guinness Book of World Records, twenty six years old. Oof. Oh my god! I think there was a dog that they had made it to like twenty nine or thirty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> She's Spain, that. Yeah. That's crazy. God damn, dog. I mean, I had a, our shih tzu. We put our shih tzu down. I think she could have kept going another couple of years. She was in awful shape, but she was uh, almost 19 when we put her down. Wow. And she had lost an that's eye. Cold, she had freaking uh, dementia. Poor baby. Uh, that's Nick so Walker. sad, dude. Nick Walker wins pro. Pro what? These are all pro shows. I don't I don't know what Pretty sure. I mean, it's, you, you never know. It doesn't, any, anything can happen. But he, he looks he, – you he know he's going to be damn good. He's going to look freaky. He won't be off at all. This is what I'm waiting – we're all waiting to see. Vito will probably be up in uh, – I'm guessing they're going to do comparisons. Probably about 15 minutes or so we're going to see Vito. And I want, I'm really curious to see what he did or did not do with that tan situation. He had to, man. I would have showered that shit all off and started all over again. Just right. Just, just from the get-go. Just yeah. do it over again. But, you know, Which was funny, man. They, they have all these spray, these spray tans now. Yeah. But we did it ourselves. We just that cold ass protein with the applicator in I a cup, it. It. sitting there, eleven o'clock at night. Just that's money paid you, bro. When did you start for a Saturday show? When did you start putting protein on, Mike? Thursday night. I yeah. started yeah. Thursday night, then yep. Friday, and then Friday night. Thursday but night. I also did the old Friday morning, Friday yep. night, Saturday morning. I, I took yeah, me like a bronzer, four, four coats. Yeah, then I did the dream tan, and this was just awful. It was just like cake batter. It just wasn't. Did you try dream I was tan? Not a fan. I did. Yeah. I did. For the USA, for some reason. But it, it didn't really – the lights were so bright there, dude, yeah. that I still look light on stage. <laughs> you had to be just dark, 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 dark. It came in two light. different shades. One was like a gold and one was a bronze. They were all metallic. Do you remember Yeah. That? Yeah, you remember people backstage patting on like this, and they put you. <laughs> That's how you had to put it. And anything it touched yeah. was destroyed. Oh, That's why they banned it. Ruined. Because if it touched a ruined. wall, they had to paint. You couldn't get it off. You had to paint oh over the God. wall. Or if you got it on the curtains, the curtains were screwed. Anything oh. you wore, any clothing you wore, 
you were never getting that shit out of your clothes. It was like a permanent no, mark, permanent no. marker, basically. <laughs> so, you would destroy, like destroy hotels, like the wow. sheets and the like. This is before we like would bring our own sheets. We were like, oh, screw it, let's just ruin these hotels and the sheets. No, I, I have the a, bathrooms. I have a I have a confession story about destroying some sheets. I won't say which show or what hotel because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but I remember one. I thought I showered off the the, the excess. Go to bed and wake up, and the sheets were just destroyed like a mud bath. Oh. And so this is the day we were checking out. Yeah, it was after. Oh, it was, I took a shower after the show, so I figured that was good enough. Uh. All the oil and okay, I'm good. Went to bed and woke up. No, the sheets are effed. Like oh, oh. No. so oh. you know the maid carts were outside. <laughs> so went and, went and, when the maid was in someone's room, I went and grabbed in a new set of sheets. <laughs> we, put, we put that in the bed, and then we like stuffed the other ones down like a like a. A barrel, a waste barrel, or that's oh, that is awesome, dude. Oh, I'm not proud that's of that, great. but I did it. Yeah, you hotels. Every time you check in for uh, to these shows, even if you're just there to cover a show like we usually are, you yeah. have to. They make you sign something like a waiver, promising that you're gonna, you're not gonna ruin their sheets, or you're gonna, re you understand that you have to, that you have to pay for sheets yeah. if you wreck their sheets, because hotels have been screwed over so many times by body. Oh shows. God. Mm. Especially the, how big they are now. We, even when you walk in the Tampa show, like before you hit the elevator, they're sitting right there. Hey, man, come sign this. So I get yeah. it. But it's just because it's, it's hard to, it yeah. just ruins everything. But that's why, pro, I'm sorry, Dream Tan was banned. And the reason yeah. was because promoters were getting hit with these massive bills from the venues, wherever it was, you know, ballrooms or, or theaters, because anything that touched, the competitors were touching or rubbing up against was destroyed oh. like they were never getting that out so you had to pay for new curtains or new paint the walls over yeah it's crazy and it was it was just we all liked it or at least you know the, the appeal was you could put yeah. it on right right backstage right and you're done oh, right and pro, pro everybody was, was putting it on backstage yeah well because like we said protein that was a whole you had to have some you couldn't put the protein on yourself you needed someone to do it no. for you it came with a little paintbrush uh. a little you know a little foam brush with a wooden stick and you know, <laughs> Janet. Janet was my pro tan tanner yeah. for years and years. She got pretty good at it. But you know, you had to catch it. You put it on. If you put it on too much, it starts dripping down. And if you didn't catch the drops too quickly, you had like uh, a big streak on yourself. It was. It was. Alcohol it was a whole smell. You're sitting there just like this, dehydrated, yeah. tired, just getting painted. Like I went back in with a sock with. over your package because you know because <laughs> you had to have. You, you couldn't have. Any, you couldn't have any lines. You had to have everything. No. Painted. But I used to love, life. But that smell, man. I always loved that yeah. smell because it was like I do too, Ron. Now now I we're walk here. in that Tampa show. That Tampa <laughs> show, I walk in, it's like, oh, pro tan and hot stuff. It just yeah. smells so good, bro. You know, the, love the, it. the famous line, which we'll all get, but some of the people who are younger on the movie Apocalypse Now was a 1978 <laughs> uh, Vietnam yeah. movie with uh Martin Sheen and, and Marlon Brando. And the most memorable line was from the uh who played the colonel. Robert that, Duvall. Robert Duvall. Yeah. His line, his line was, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. And I always used to go backstage yes. and go, I love the smell of protein in the morning. It smells like bodybuilding. Because <laughs> you'd get backstage uh, like, ah, and hot yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. There's a stuff we used to put on called hot stuff. It was supposed to just bring the veins smell. Up. Dude, it would distinct. It, would, it stunk. It would like open your nasal passages up. It was like Vicks Vapor. Oh, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. And it made it, a lot of people got blotchy. It would just make you all because it would like it made the skin like all hot and itchy. I would, Ooh. yeah, the basio dilator, man. Like, but it was yeah. just spray it on. They <laughs> sold it. We did it because we were so dumb that we thought, oh, well, if our veins pop a little more, we'll win. You know, we thought that yeah. was, we all thought that was like the secret. We looked for any stupid secret, like <laughs> what could we would was it wine or brandy? Like, we would da hear like daiquiri. Oh. We were doing daiquiris backstage. Yeah. Because like, oh, that brings out the veins, guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Everybody do that. Get your daiquiri, yeah. Mm -hmm. Daiquiris to some like, M&Ms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, people used to, Jesus. they would have their rituals. Everyone had their one thing yeah. they would eat backstage. And I remember, I remember when I started coaching people, which I, I kind of got, I got away from, but there were some people that thought that what you eat backstage the day of the show was going to be like the determining factor of how you're going to play. So I'm like, no. No, you don't need. You can have a little, have a little piece of, uh, you know, like uh, you can have some jam or some simple sugar or something. But, exactly. You know, pounding a bunch of pancakes and stuff is not going to turn you from a oh, bantamweight God. to a super heavyweight. Mm. 
And you're going to feel like shit too, man. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you haven't had junk food in like four months and then you start eating it, uh, you don't, you don't know, you can't predict how your body is going to react to that. And you don't yeah, want to be on no, stage like, cramping and bloated. Oh, a friend of mine carb loaded all those Perillo bars. Oh, he almost no. crapped his, almost yes. crapped himself on stage. He had to run off stage Ooh. and run to the bed. Those, all that cap try, cap remember? Try. Like, the, the, yep. uh, that yeah. was violently on your stomach. That was awful. What's the actual word? It was uh, that oil. What's it actually called? MCT oil. Try, it was, yeah, MCT, yeah. like it was pour all of your food, get the extra calories in. Yeah, I mean, oh, good people, Lord. people bought, the, I used it for years and years because I, I was, did too, dude. I wrote for Perillo for over 30 years and I used to get a big, you know, he didn't pay me, he paid me with supplements. I got a big box of Perillo supplements every month. Yeah. So he I was at every show in Ohio. Perillo sponsored every show we would go to in Ohio. That was, was like his thing, man. He was the district chairman, the MPC chairman of Ohio for yeah. a while. Or I yeah, think for a long two, time. You had, two, you had two districts, I think. The north, the north and south, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where, where Cincinnati was, north or south, one of those. That was, that was south. Yeah, you would know. Mike's an Mike's Ohio native. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we got pre first call out? Yeah, I apologize for not knowing who these who these ladies are. They're all lovely, and they're all Brazilian. Yeah, Brazil does have a very – very wide range of looks in one country, kind yeah. of like the USA. This might be comparison because, yeah, Blonde, it's it's, like it's gonna be the it's gonna be the confirmation round right here. And again, like I have no clue. Like the girl on the red is a little more muscular. The girl, other girls, not very muscular. So I have no clue. Yeah, what I mean, they want. Typically, you see some massive calves. I don't see anybody with the Matarazzo calves no. up here right now. No, lots of um, these things. And look at the people these said. things. Look at the height height variance variance. Yeah, you know, girl in the middle is a, a good foot shorter than that girl next to her. Girl, and you know more. she's even probably even shorter with all the heels on. Oh, of course, she's probably about five foot tall, <laughs> if that. If that. and you think when you see them, they're so small, bro. In person, they're just the tiniest people. Oh, some of these people, some of the, you know, like oh, who's our favorite fitness girl, Ariel? <laughs> yes, fitness tiny. Team. She is minuscule, very petite. Yeah, she's the Ariana Grande Grande of uh, yeah. Fitness, basically. <laughs> Ariana Grande but you see her on stage, you're like, oh, her quads and her delts was just great. It's such an illusion, man. Phenomenal. Dave, Dave is asking if I had the Perillo belt. I don't know what you mean. I never, I've never had a Perillo belt. You mean Cardillo belt? Cardillo and Perillo are two different people. So I think you're thinking of Steve Cardillo. Um, has Cardillo USA a company out of Boston that's made custom belts for every like every pro yeah. you can think of he's a good friend of jose raymond jose at one point had a collection of about a hundred different oh, belts shit. like i remember one time when he was living in when he was with uh uh tony years ago and they had a house in woburn he had like a whole a whole closet that all it was was whatever <laughs> supplement company he was at the time and, and belts from cardillo it was like wow stacked ceiling to floor with belts and somebody <laughs> stole one one time in a gym i'm like wouldn't you feel like a moron walking around with a belt that said Jose Raymond IFBB Pro? Exactly. Because you're not Jose means. Raymond. I mean, that's no, great... it, you would know. They would know. Fast. Yeah. It's not like you can ever wear that anywhere. People are going to know that you stole Jose's belt. So let's see. Good Vito this on versus Martin Tex. Who won that? Uh, I would give it to Martin. If you're going to compare this good Vito that we just saw a few hours ago yeah. to Martin Tex, where we saw it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, yo, Big Mike and Ron. Okay. What up? Back, I guess. Where would I? Oh, you're what? In the modern categories. So you mean in like women's bodybuilding? I'm assuming. Mm. I hope you're hope you're not meaning like uh, being a jerk and saying like in men's bodybuilding. Uh, would Iris beat uh, Andrea Andrea Shaw? That's a hell of a question. It's it's that would be a hell of a comparison because Iris's mm. Iris's condition is timeless. We like, almost got to see it two years ago. Almost. Yeah. Oh, it was close, wasn't it? Well, she pulled out. She got sick the night before. That would have been great. She never made it to judging. It was like, yeah. I think judging was Saturday during the day, and Friday night she got yeah. sick. Had to go yep. to the hospital. So that would have been phenomenal. I would have loved to have seen those two side by side. But Andrea's yeah. good, man. Andrea is – she's going she's gonna to be a hard to beat for a couple of years. Yeah, I mean – She really yeah. is. There's some great, great people chasing chasing her down right now. Who's yeah. uh who's the one with the the the, the Angie the, from Toledo, Ohio? Angie, what's her what's her full Angel, name? Angel, yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yo. 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 Yes. I just, you know, she's phenomenal. She's got that very memorable hairstyle with the long braids and the and the shaved head. Yeah. She's very close, but Andrea's just. I don't want to give Andrea say it's all genetics because that take, that sort of diminishes what she's accomplished, how hard she works. They all work super hard, but when someone's like that genetically gifted, like the Sydney shape, Gillen, man, yeah. Sydney Gillen is like the perfect the perfect poster child for figure. Yeah, like, she might get ten. She might get ten wins, bro. See, she's seven now, right? Yeah, seven. I so, think. and she she's got seven, and like it's. She's she's far ahead. She's still far ahead. Like no. she's got a sizable lead ahead of some of these other girls, yeah. which is it's all. Play. I mean, listen, Jessica Padilla could have what two or three wins by now. Sure. wins right now. She's been second, you know, right that many times. You're right, yeah. and but it's just you know, same with like Gaspari and Lebron would all have wins, but that one dude is there. Yeah. That just crushes dream, like Phil said, the dream crush, dream killer. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that was Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie prevented, uh, you know, guys like Kevin from winning. Uh, yeah. Kept Flex, Flex from winning. Dorian kept Kevin from winning. Sean from winning. Sean, Nasser. Flex from winning. You know, yeah. when you have people that are that dominant for that long, it's, yeah, dream dream crusher, dream killer. It's pretty accurate. And those are great bodybuilders. Though. Like, they were like, those European tours, guys, those dudes were just insane. They just couldn't get over Dorian or Ronnie. Mm-hmm. He's just, and I can think now, too, Ron, we, don't, we won't see a guy like that, that dominant, right? Derek's good, but you're not like, oh, he's he's going to win the Olympic game. Ronnie would compete. like, who's going to be second? Is Jay going to be second again? Yeah. Or like Gustavo or Dexter? Who's who's going to be second when Ron, to Ronnie, you know? I don't think anybody would say, Hottie can never beat Derek again, or Derek is never going to beat Hottie again, or Samson no. could never beat. You can't say that anymore. These guys are not, they're not that far apart. You know, they're no, all they're on, any, on any given day under the right circumstances. I could see any of those guys winning. Yeah, and it's just, and we're at an era now like this. We since 2018, bro. Just things that just haven't been other than Rami in a couple of years. It's just every every year somebody different, and it, it makes it for an right. exciting sport. You know, it's just because by that third, fourth win, people are like, "Yeah, okay, he's gonna win again." Right. By five, right. you're like, "I can't wait for him to lose." That's why I said Giles said just, by by three times, people start turning on you. Yeah, like, all right, you've had you know, enough. That's enough for you. Let somebody else. LeBron got that push, and LeBron got pushed hard. Like eighty nine, we was closed at ninety. So it's just it, you. You gotta. You got to have like a, a rival to make it exciting, or it's just you know. Because Phil Kai was good, but Phil was just Phil was nasty, man. He was just a, yeah. a, a different animal. All right, I'm gonna. You know? I'm, gonna I'm gonna need my final break before we start because I'm old and my bladder is like this big and my prostate is that big. So keep talking, guys, for about thirty five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Will dude>. do. <laughs> so it's I mean, it's the, like these girls all look phenomenal, but what Tyler does with this, God bless him, because I couldn't. There's no way I could even remotely begin to tell you who's good at this. You mean I'm assuming these are this. I'm assuming it's the top three, the top three, but like they just again, they don't all look the same. Let's not make that comparison. But they just, it's just a very similar look to them. And I don't know. It's This is it, a it tough is, contest right here. I wouldn't know really how to judge this myself, what exactly to look at in general to make an accurate judgment. I no, don't envy these judges right now. Because one, I know one girl is a little bit harder than the other girl, and one girl is not as hard. I just, but listen, I guess I'm, I'm assuming the judges speak to them. You know, let them know what criteria to look for. If they're, you know, to tone it, if you need to tone it down, or if you need to, you know, make kind of adjustment. But that's what bodybuilding is—just easy. You just get big, right. and you get lean and yes. dry. A yes. plus B equals C. Yes. Not rocket science. Very no. simple. You know. So, but um, how about that? I'm assuming this is going to be the. Uh... Hey. We're back. There we go. Back. All right. All right. My turn, Ron. I'm old too. Oh, we had uh let me let me remove him. Oh no, they're still doing their call out. So we have a prediction for the win from Paul for wellness. The one with the butt cheeks is gonna win. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know. If I don't know if she's <laughs> she didn't have his question. Yeah, he's it's a joke. They all have tremendous <laughs> glutes. Uh 
I guess I'll put the volume on for this so we can hear who wins. People mais amados do Brasil. Portuguese. You think we're okay with that music, Jen? Uh, I think Let's, that'd be all right. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it just for well. São Paulo, cadê a salva de palmas para essas atletas? Isso aqui é Arnold Esporte Festival. Dez anos é para história. Boy, elas what? estavam aqui dez anos. Então é isso. Guys, excited. God bless them. I mean, so I, I guess that's who won. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're going to get the Arnold the Arnold statue. Wow, if they win. That one's look. in fifth, fourth. Somebody just got fifth, right? It looks like they're, they're going to be already... top six. It says Muscle Contest International guys on YouTube. I want to give them full credit for the free, free live stream. That's three Arnold Classics in a row. We got to watch for free, guys. Two uh, two webcasts or two live stream like Clubber. Parece que duas atletas aqui estão precisando de medalha aqui, ó. Oh, no, Clubber. No. Medalha para as duas últimas atletas aqui. No way. Arnold no Classic way. South America oh. em quinto lugar. Quinto Premiando lugar. nossa Premiação. patrocinadora global, New Milan. A fórmula do desempenho, Ricardinho lá em cima no palco. Bom ver você. Ana Freitas, Panaim, Dr. Fernando, trouxeram um time inteiro Quinto aqui. Quinto lugar. Obrigado ao Willy Dantas também. Quinto lugar. Demiação, e... oferecimento de New Milen. Em quinto lugar, na categoria Wellness Pro. Renata Guaraciaba. Okay, well, they're already wearing the medal, so we know. Yeah, that's bad. Who... Salve de palmas para Renata. I wonder how much they're not going to be out quick, man. Arnold Sports Festival South America. I see she's pretty hard. Oh, that's but the I don't champion. Know. Okay. Super lean. In quarto lugar. Quarto lugar. Fourth place. Fourth place. Quarto lugar. Deborah Buff. Deborah. So I all, knew that one. They're all getting trophies like that. Wow. Yeah, wow. They're very nice trophies, bro. I want, I want that one. Damn. And a medal. That's a nice one. Yeah. I think it weighs a ton. Ana Freitas entregando o terceiro lugar para Andrea Gadella. Andrea Gadella, top three. Look at the legs on her. My goodness. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Look at those. Oh, quads. you know what that is? Who? That's that. Remember that Annie, Annie Freitas lady? They used to compete oh, okay. years, a couple years ago. Na segunda colocação. Jeez, she was legs. Sports Festival. Comemorando 10 anos de magia. That's crazy. Valkyria Lopez. Valkyria Lopez. Okay. Top two. That's second place. Valkyria fazendo um pro debut incrível. I do have the wellness list on my phone. DJ Palila, a campeã do Arnold Sports Festival South America. Champion. Dez anos. É. Rayane Fogal. Rayane Fogal, campeã. Boy. É isso! Vamos fazer barulho, São Paulo! <laughs> That's great. Oh, Ryan Fogal, does that sound right? Is that... That sounds great right to me. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds there you go, perfect. They have nice trophies. So they got very nice trophies. Really nice trophies. Now I'm muting him again. Haha, that's what you get, dude. Yeah, please. This guy says, Portuguese version, well, it's Tamar, isn't it? Let me just yeah. turn on the light real quick. Cal, yeah. uh, Portuguese version of Bob Chick. Yeah, I mean, yes, he was very excited. You you, you have very. to have uh, a lot of energy for these people. I need to take Jim. Oh, my God. Yeah. You need I to wonder be... what, kind of, what the crowd is like there, bro. Like how many people. I didn't have to take me out. Oh, it's okay. okay. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> Those trophies are lit, as you crazy young kids say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Fire. I can't believe they all, they all got an Arnold sculpture. Yeah. I, I want one of those. Those look awesome. That thing oh, would look great in my show, office. Man. Actually, Ron, take me off studio real quick. Okay. And she's gone. Boop. Uh, Jeez, to holy... Olympia needs to step up the game. Well, the Arnold is Arnold is out to get them. He's out. <laughs> Dude, he's he, out. He, he, the gloves I don't are think off. He cares anymore. No. It's like it kind of like you know once Joe's gone, it's like yeah, screw it. You know, when did, when did Joe Weider die? It's been a long time. Was it Twenty. I'm gonna, no, it was ten long. years, right? It's at least it's about 10, 10 2013. I'm gonna find around that. there. 
I'm curious. It's been a long time because that's the only reason that he was. Yeah, he died in 2013, yeah. March 23rd, 2013. 2013. It's been 11 years. Damn. So that's why Arnold was intentionally keeping the prize money lower. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because out of respect for Joe Weider's Mr. Olympia, he could have afforded to bump up the prize oh, money yeah. at any point he wanted to. That's why he was giving away whatever Hummer was going for back then, like the 70 Hummer. grand. Uh, yeah, the Autom Hummer. The Audemars the watch was like a $30,000 watch. The so jacket, they, the everything. Man. They, yeah. hooked, they hooked it up. So they would get like 100, 100 125 cash and then another another 100 or so in prizes for sure. That's not, I mean, that's, but they do, you can't listen. $500, that's life changing, man. That's just, you know, that's just a lot of, you, yeah. I never thought bodybuilding would ever have that kind of money. You never think, thank you, Ron. You know, mm -hmm. first place at a, at a show would be $500,000. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's crazy. I think in another 10 years, if it keeps, if this trend goes, oh. I could see some one of these shows giving away a million dollars for first. Oh yeah, oh for yeah. sure. If I they can get, so. a, it's a matter of time. It's going to happen eventually, right? You know, it's the sponsorships. That's what it comes down to. Because you know they're not making, a, they're making money from the tickets. Of course they are, but it's really yeah. the, you know the sponsorships. The more if Arnold could get more, you know, a couple mainstream companies to support the Arnold Huge. Sports Festival, you know that's why yeah. these. We talk about why isn't there? Why don't they have the money of baseball and football and basketball? Because they have sponsors like Nike Real and ones. Adidas and Ford Motors and Chevrolet and Budweiser. Yeah. That's why. And yeah, Allstate and Farmers Insurance, you know, billion billion dollar corporations, because they have the. And why do they have those sponsors? Because they have the viewership. Right. You know, they yep. put on a commercial during a, an NFL game. How many people are watching that game every Sunday? Or every, mm -hmm. yeah, is it Monday night football that they have now, too? Monday and Thursday. Is that yeah. a thing? <laughs> yeah. My, oh, oh, yeah. I don't know, Jack, too much. Uh, <laughs> the class is legs compete in then. Huh? What? Better. I don't know. Legs, legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope that's his boyfriend. I would say so. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Some random that. dude. Good for you. That was uh, Ryan. For Olympia needs to get the live stream back up lane correctly. That's going to be on 24 7 yeah. On an open lineup. Well, the backdrop, the the advantage, they don't do the giant LED screens for the Arnold shows, and the Olympia does. But I think they do that because they want the Olympia to be this massive spectacle, like you're going to, you know, like a Beyonce concert or something. Yeah. Um, Always sounds like it. <laughs> it's super <laughs> loud. <laughs> when you man, walk in, it's a bitch. It Dude, sounds like a Beyonce concert, man. The bass like rattles my bones at that show. Dude, the the, sound the meet and greet was so loud. It was like it was like a rave. I mean, yeah. it, it was cool, but it was like a rave. I'm like, oh my god, what is this? It's just, but it's the. I think it's the it's the crowd now, man. It's just side. You got it. You can't just do. <laughs> I don't think she'd have her side boyfriend on stage in front of a million oh, people. Oh man, these comments. Dave is roasting <laughs> Giles. I told I He's I hibernating. I told Giles to go to bed. I did not. I don't want him staying up this late for this. It's already what is it, six hours. Ahead? They're five, so it's yeah, seven. It's it's two there. It's two a.m. Midnight. What's is he it? saying? It's only gone midnight here. No, it's two a.m. Wait a no. minute. No, you're right. No. I suck at math. Seven plus five is twelve. You're right. He's right. She would know. Can we tell a bodybuilding show with first prize money of a million? Yeah. I don't here we go. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. First Rafa. up for closing. Rafael Brundo. Your favorite. Let's see. He's a he's a Ooh. great poser. He puts time into the transitions. You know, like we were ripping on the William Martins earlier for being awkward posing. This is this is the opposite of awkward. He's a brilliant poser. His shape is just so like the quads are just so round. Yeah, and I, I love this. It's a quiet confidence. I don't think he's cocky at all. I think it's no, a, not even close. It's a very self-assured, yeah. quiet confidence. He knows he looks great. He wants to represent it because has he ever won this one before? I don't think so. I don't think I'll he has. has. Has he? Come here, yeah. or did he win it once? He might have won it once, but uh, you know, obviously, a lot of hometown, hometown, home country pride in this show, which is why he sat out UK. He wanted to focus on this. Rather than prejudge, it's hard to tell. He looks at least as good, at least as good. Right. He's yeah. not, you know, he's not super crazy hard. It's, it's a fuller look, right? Yeah. So you know, it's again, again, him and Neil is out of you have to. It's just a learning process. But I it's just he was hard. He was harder at UK show, I think. Yeah. He just um, it's such a beautiful physique, man. Like, 
Yeah. You want to? I want to see him at the Olympia next to, next to the Andrews. You know, this with the extra muscle next to Hunter, just to kind of see how how he stands now being right? a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think it's a transition though. He's going from like a slow part of the song. There's probably some voiceover. I don't want to put the music on because we'll get we'll get a strike against us. So. <laughs> it's not the Terminator, but it is pretty pretty still pretty good probably. Yeah, he probably just put on some hip hop or something, and now he's uh. Ah, now he's hitting all the muscle shots, <laughs> the crabs. Look how pumped up he gets. Yeah. He's he's, he's fuck. He is very psyched. Ah, look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's ready, dude. That's good though, man. You know what I mean? Confidence. Yeah, I think he's improved a lot, bro. Okay. Yeah. So okay. this with better condition at the Olympia is gonna be is gonna be a it is a top five, top six. Oh yeah. He's gonna, be, he's gonna be battling for that like top five, that top five spot. You know what I mean? Andrew, him, Hunter. Mm. Don't jump like that, bro. Careful. <laughs> he made the he made the stream glitch when he did that. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't. You don't want to do that too often. So, Andrew's happy. He's young though. He might. His oh, tennis the, leg was probably pretty good. Talk about the knees, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best thing about Fafael. Not Rafael. Yeah, bigger over time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree. He didn't blow up in like one year and get a gut like a lot of guys have done. He kept his waist, yeah. man. And that's that's here's the best Tonyo. thing to keep your waist. And here's Tonio here's doing the same lot, thing. Man. Tonio's putting on a little bit of muscle every year. A couple slowly. pounds. Slowly doing it right. And he like, his, like Mike said, he doesn't need a lot more muscle than this. No. A few that's more a pounds. beautiful look, man. I would give him more, a little more tries. Yeah. Tries he needs in that front double would really help that pose. But what a, that last spread's a killer shot. His back shots are lights out. His back shots are insanity. Yeah. He's, who's got a better back than that right now? Dude, he, dude, he, he, it'd be a mistake for him not to go to Detroit. If he doesn't win the show, to not go to Detroit and get that, you know, forget that qualification, yeah. get out the way, knock it out the way, get it done, do New York, shut it down, and get ready. Yeah, uh, I agree with you, yeah. Kevin. Anyone that doesn't come in tip top shape, the Olympia is screwed. Doesn't, oh, matter who, yeah. doesn't matter who they are. Demon back. I actually tried to give him a new nickname, King Cobra. I stole it from Giles. Is it King Cobra? Because I think that's a better nickname than Predator. It's a lot of muscle on his back, man. Yeah, I mean, I kept playing this thing from his Instagram. It was a. Uh, he was just walking through the gym, and somebody was like behind him with the camera. And it was just insane. <laughs> For the it's shirt. Nuts back, like it. it looked like it was AI or morphed or something, but it wasn't. That was his God real bad. Damn. Mm. Yeah. Very impressive, kid, man. It's very yeah. impressive. Yes. He's getting better every year. He gets better and better and better. He just keeps improving and improving. Yes, so, Andre. This is Andre. We're not calling him Nathan, guys. It's not Nathan Dash. This is Andre Carlisle. Wow. Andre Carlisle. Real surprise. Did not see very this big guy surprise. Come. Never heard of this guy in my life until I saw the list for this show come out. He has he, sharpened up from this afternoon. He's damn good, this guy. He looks really good, man. I wouldn't. Look at that. I don't. I wouldn't stagger the quads the way he's doing on those two front shots. No, just have them both flared out to the side. And you got to hold the pose a little bit longer too. He's not. He's not short. You got that. Uh, oh, now he's going to dance. Here. Okay. Well, they don't score the. Well, they do score the posing at the Arnold shows. Do they? Look at the glutes are in. This guy's in shape. If he looks that good on this stream, can you imagine what the exactly? Oh yeah. I don't know if Gilko's there. I'd have to check. It's just you know, it's just time. You got, a lot of these guys just you got it. You can't rush this. This is a marathon, man. It's not a sprint. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we want these guys to be good, like now. Looking we want smooth. Regan to be like now. Is he done? Nathan, that was Nathan. it. Oh, that was his whole routine. Come on, dude. Get the Arnold, bro. Milk that bad boy for as long as you can. That wasn't even a minute. No. Yeah. A lot I mean, of these guys are posing that long. Like, um, half of them haven't gone that long. Tonio has quit pretty quick, too. Okay, here's good Vito. He's All right, Vito. Routine now. Tan looks a little better. Uh, I Whoa, still, I'm lot, still man. in love with that tan. I love those legs. No. But this kid is so much potential, a world of potential. Oh, my God, yeah. Look at his quads and that pose, man. That. Deep, deep separations. For a young guy, he might only be like 26, 27. That's Anybody know his actual man. age? Yeah. See, that he's in great shape, but you can't really appreciate it with this color. No. Quads mm -hmm. are crazy from the back, too. He's yeah. got massive quads. He's a, just a thick, thick guy. 
Ooh. It's racy. Like he's just up. raw. You know what I mean? Like just a raw, like he just had like sculpted, mature, and grew onto his body, you know? Yeah. T Well did the food challenge last week. Who did the food? I don't know who T Well is. You have to you have to you're doing talk to Back him though. That's a great shot. He reminds me of uh, yeah. Jeff Long. Remember? Him? Yes. Yes. Some, but uh, maybe I don't want to say better version because Jeff's very good himself. But this good veto is just kind of does, yeah. Uh, the Can't lighting, show him, man, for a pro debut. The yeah, lighting in some parts of the stage is not even. Like right there, he's like, in and they probably they you know they tell him that too. Say the good light. Yeah, and that's why they have the X in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> make a lot of muscle, man. This guy looks incredible. I think his name is Tony. Uh, Tonio was the guy before, Darren. I think you're talking about Tonio Burton, the guy with the crazy back and the uh, who's this? Who's this? this is... He actually looked pretty good this morning. Well, so muscles guy from Mexico, Jonathan Emmanuel Padilla Gonzalez. Yeah, he's very thickly developed. Yeah, he's he no is. slouch. It's just you know when when you have a top three or four that's as good as this, it's hard, people, man. People get lost in the shuffle after that. You know, it's, it doesn't mean that they're not good. It's Dave Batista. No. Dave it just, Batista. It's, they say, this guy looks like Batista? I thought I looked like Batista. Damn it. This guy looks like he can be WWE. Well, he's probably about he's a foot lot. too short, would be my guess. At least. Mexican Rolly. Mexican Rolly. <laughs> yeah, I see some comparisons. He's a thick, thick guy. He's got a ton of muscle. He does have a lot of muscle, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's just hard. You got. It's just you gotta. I don't know. You gotta pick the right shows. Number one, and you got just be a little bit tighter. We go along, with, especially in those side poses, because the muscles there, right? It's just you can see it. It's just gotta. He's got a thicker midsection. He's got to be a shorter exactly. guy. I bet he's like five yeah. six, two forty or something. And he's nice. got to be skinless. And then you know what I mean with those structural issues. So he's got to be. He has to be just completely dug out. This is Alan Bonadaman. We were calling him yes. Banana Man. I love the name. Charles was calling him Banana Man. It's an easy way to remember it. It yeah. is, isn't it? Guy looks really good. It just needs to be a little bigger. Structure, man. That yeah. structure is beautiful. If he if he can add the necessary size to that frame, and the guy knows a little, maybe we get the guy knows. Yeah, there too. I think he will. If we're gonna call out people on shoulders the way we do, we need to call out the guy know too. It's only fair. Yeah, and, and glutes. Easy and fix. Motivation. Easy fix. Yes. And it saves probably save money in the long run. We have a doctor. Claws are good. He's done gyno yeah. surgery on like 100, 200 pro bodybuilders. Uh, they're talking about Vito. Vito is like a branch with a better frame. He's better color. Yeah. Uh, branch is pretty damn good. Let's, let's let's not make the branch comparisons just yet. It's a little yeah. a up. little early for that. Yeah. yeah. This guy looks like an amateur Antoine Vaillant. He's had a good – his back double was phenomenal. Yeah. It's just he's he's – I don't know how tall he is, but again, it's, he just has to grow into that body. Yes. Go, go to Kuwait. Go to Kuwait, man. <laughs> or put Dubai. Kid, yeah, yeah, put him in the Middle East. He's going to come back looking ridiculous. And Lewis Breed went to Dubai, came back like with 30 pounds of muscle. <laughs> they just go there and just say more. It's just bodybuilding boot camp. There's just, you know, good. there's nothing else to do. And that's not, that's not for everybody. Right. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna tell Christian let branch out. He's shaking. That usually means means he's usually needs to go to the bathroom. Let branch out. I don't want him peeing on the floor. He peed on the floor a couple weeks ago. It was the first time he's ever uh, done that. Because he was I was doing one of these. It wasn't yeah. this, it wasn't with you guys. It was I was doing something live for like an hour and a half, and branch really had to go to the bathroom. So the poor guy went on the kitchen, on the kitchen floor. <laughs> I it was on the tiles. He didn't get any carpets or rugs or anything. So. Ah, very nice. Good boy. All right, there's Alan. Alan, uh, a lot of potential. Just fill out. Just give and, he, and he posed for a while, too, man. Like, you got to milk it. You get the yeah. Arnold Classic. Take all the time you can. Yeah, why would you Why would you rush that, man? This is No. Especially these guys are all Brazilian, for, except for there's only three people out of, the, out, of the, out of the nine that aren't Brazilian. It's my hometown. This is Jefferson Santos de Oliveira from Brazil. Old man muscle. Big Jeff. Yeah. Someone was commenting that they, they thought it was like a master show. But yeah, he's probably over. I'm going to guess by the face because I'm an older guy. He's probably a, at least 40, 45. 
would be my oh, guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Which, you know, give the guy credit for being able to hold on to that kind of muscle mass. Because, trust me, it's not easy to do that at, at, from experience. Dude. It's I mean, a challenge. You know, when they say the legs go, it's usually because our knees and our hips are, like, shot to shit yes. by, by the time you're that age. So, guy, listen, and I see any guy this age, older, that's still, that's still doing well. I'm I'm big fans, man. Like I just do your thing, bro. Compete until you can't do it no more. Yeah, because it's not easy. But the body gives out like quickly if you're yeah. not if you're careful. Mike and I, Mike and I both did a lot of heavy squats over the years. Uh, I can't squat for shit anymore. Like one one eighty five kills me now. Kills my kills my knees now. I don't know about you. I got I got the hair my ass to do the incline dumbbells with eighty five. Say that was just stupid. Dude, I was I just like that was just. I Bro, can't do that. It was dumb. Oh, this shoulder. Well, no, it's good. Crusty old man. I've retired. <laughs> so he's talking about the early branch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Brazilian Sean Ray, I think, because he's, because he's, well, maybe a little resemblance. They could be cousins. That's awesome. Brazilian Sean Ray. Yeah, the stage. <laughs> they, great. they need to. They need to get their lighting uh, situation fixed for this show. Moving yeah. forward. You shouldn't. You should have even lighting. Everybody should be evenly lit. All across one end of the stage to the other, because they know these guys. They're gonna. They're gonna deviate from the center. They're gonna go yeah. side to side because they want to give these people sitting over here a good view. Of these people over there. And good lighting so vital, man. Like we got spoiled with Mike Nebu and the Iron Man. That spoiled us. Yeah. For all those years. That yeah. set the bar really high. But you know, he lit that the way he lit his studio for the photo oh, shoot. That's what it was. He it was lit amazing. It. I used to be there because I would get there early. You know, I was there a couple hours before the show would start, and I would, I would see him doing the finishing touches on the lighting. He was meticulous. He had a whole crew of people with the light meters wow. going here, there, and they, they, they did not start the show until that lighting was perfect. And it worked. Yeah, it totally worked, man. Those guys, those physiques were just like when Phil did the show that one year. It was just Davison, Davison Tashera, guys. This is Davison D E. I V I S O N. I'm going to say Davison Teixeira, same as the Angelica Teixeira. The I think she won three or four bikini Olympias back in the day. No relation, I'm assuming. Uh, there's a lot of Teixeiras. There's a lot of De Silva's. There's a lot of yeah. Santoses. There's a lot of Correas. There's a, there's a few names you see pop up over and over again in Brazil. Just like you know, my wife's last name was Rodriguez. There's a few Spanish people named Rodriguez in Latin America. <laughs> a few billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like between Ramirez, Rodriguez. Oh yeah, there's only like five names that you see. Mendoza, like Hector's last name. There's a ton of. They're very, very common names. You see them over and over and over again. Imagine that name in the phone book back in the day. Yeah, I mean, my name. There's a lot of Harris's. It's not. A, it's not an uncommon yeah. name. No. So sometimes I go. One time I went on Facebook. I wonder how many other Ron Harris's there are. There was a lot. <laughs> but I, there's only one of me. The leader doesn't look like a mass monster when he's standing with his peers. Well, I mean, you got him next to another few guys who are massive as yeah. well. And we finally saw him next to someone, right? It just wasn't online right. anymore. Right. So the, we saw the finished product. And he said, like, you know, we it, it was as good. He delivered. Put it that way. He delivered yeah. what we were expecting, right? Yeah. He, he was, was not in shape. He, he was there. Just a few minor tweaks. He's he just – it's raw, man. He's just a raw – like yeah. Give the unshaped, kid. yeah. Like got a sculpted, like Arnold said. Gen G there. What? Why is Gen G there? Where? Why is Gen G? Because she's part of the channel. I don't know. She was big part of MD. I don't know what. You, what's your? Why are you here, camping, fishing? He's camping and fishing. You're not bodybuilding. <laughs> camping and fishing. Okay, we got William Martin's Martin. <laughs> this is my. What I have him in fifth. I have this guy. In I have yeah, him in fifth as well. They do right. Fifth or sixth. Fifth. Yeah, I want to see if his free posing is any better than his mandatories. That's uh, side shots, crazy. Hold, hold you your gotta poses. hold that. Hold your poses. Don't rush. Yeah. Uh, Especially that, when you got a back when you look look like that from the back. If I, if you I was that milk big, that. dude, if I was that big, I would hold every pose for like a full. When I when I was coach, I was I'm a better posing coach than I am a prep coach. If I'm being honest, <laughs> and I would tell them this is I would say hold your pose, get into your pose. And then go one one thousand before you go in. If you hold it for a full second at least. Yep. And and I made them do that until it was ingrained in their head. That way you don't just rush. 
because people have a tendency to just fly through their poses up there, especially yeah. if you're nervous. You know, 90 I'll seconds. Say, yeah. I, people will do like their whole 90 second routine in 60 seconds because <laughs> they're quickly, like, man. Because, <gasps> you know, the nerves get flying through. Uh, all right, I'm deleting. I don't know how to block. I'm going to block them. Put user in timeout. You're done. All right. <laughs> that so, was yeah. so quick. Again, it was a quick routine, man. Like, the, dare you? They did, they're not showing it, staying that long. First, second, third. This, I don't know his name because I think either he wasn't he wasn't on the initial list. I think they just finished the amateur right before this, so I don't think he's Oh, maybe he got a pro card. No, I don't know. He might have been added, like, later on. He wasn't on the initial – the list, even when I checked it, like, last night, he wasn't on it. So I don't know who this is. Uh, looks good. Just needs to be a lot bigger to stand next to these guys and get a good good comparison. Uh, I'd say this yeah, guy – Natty, I'm gonna go Natty on this guy. Yeah, Could got be. a good physique, man. It's just what, eight abs. Arnold Classic Brazil. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'd love to look like this guy. Shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> he don't look bad, man. No, it's just you know, you put him next to Good Vito and Rafael Brandeo, and exactly, it's like yes. a whole new ball game. Yeah. Natural. Yeah. Where's God. Tiger? I told Tiger to go to sleep. I wanted to get his beauty sleep, especially he was complaining. Tiger's that he dreaming. He's he's thinking about starting Botox, so I definitely don't want him missing sleep and getting <laughs> aging any faster than he might be. Yeah, naturally. He took only creatine. Creatine is natural. Yeah. Yeah. Shoulders look who looks sus? <laughs> Whose shoulders look sus? All right, guys. So this is nope. comparison. Confirmation Compared round. The... So typically they do the bottom six, the bottom five first. That's how they and they'll save like the top five guys for the second call out, which is the reverse of how they do it in the judging. So I'm wondering if they're going to keep up that pattern. You know, there's no rules to this. I don't think that's a no. They do whatever. It's cool. It kind of keeps you off guard too when Steve does that. Yeah, he, he, he gives everyone a good look. Everybody mm -hmm. and then gets working on man. There's no more of this. Nobody gets called out anymore. I agree. I would have loved to see Carlos yes. in this show. Carlos would have been awesome in this lineup. Yeah, they're oh doing the God, bottom. Yes. The bottom guys, yeah. The bottom guys, the bottom five guys or so is my guess here. Uh, Jeremy Jeswinski. Oh, wow. Ba Iron Man Magazine. Yeah, Iron Man Magazine was a great magazine for years and years. Yeah, it was. They were like the no BS magazine. They were, it was like, they focused more on like actual training for regular human beings than yeah. anybody else. They weren't about like the training routines of the pros or wacky trends or anything it was all solid info and they were the first magazine to publish me john balick and steve holman i owe them a lot of gratitude i owe the late bob kennedy a big debt of gratitude yeah they were the ones who really helped me establish myself as a writer in the 90s uh and then i didn't get with md until 2001 my first article wow. first article under my own name was jenna jameson interview that's right that's right was it really <laughs> yeah <laughs> Before that, I was subcontracting for the sandwich. He was doing the pro. Oh yeah, sandwich he was wild. Doing the pro, the pro columns, and he was just getting burnt out. And he asked me to help him out with a few of them. I'm like, yeah, all right. So he was like giving me like seventy five percent of his pay for those or something. That's when wow. I mean, it was like four hundred pages, was like just like this thick. The magazine was humongous back then. It was ridiculous. I have a bunch of those in plastic still. I got a bunch of yeah. still garage, yeah. Yeah, you know what? It's funny. I've been I've been selling some old magazines. I got a I got a whole crate of old magazines donated to me from a friend of mine from my hometown from years ago. He was a realtor, and he was he some guy died, and he had to sell the guy's house for him. And they they left behind a bunch of old magazines from like late sixties all the way through the mid eighties. Wow! And so far, the one that I've sold on eBay that got the most money was a book called Inside Powerlifting by Dr. Terry Todd. Got over no way. got a hundred bucks for that one. Oh wow. no, kidding! Yeah, uh, there's a market for it, man. I just, I don't know. I, I just hate. It's hard getting rid of magazines. Um, there's, I mean, very, I'm, there's some that hard. I'm never gonna, never gonna part no. with. No, sure. Mm, no, some copies of MD. So it's like the J Quad Stomp. There's some icon. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Yeah. So this is gonna be probably the top top five right here. Oh yeah. Okay. So we have. Is it Andre? Mm -hmm. Okay, Marlo, William Martin, Rafael, Good Vito, Antonio. I'm sure they'll move around, right? Oh, yeah. 
Let's see. You would think so. Are they going to leave William in there? Unless they're trying to decide, you know, between Andre and William for fourth and No. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Wow, they didn't move him. They left William in the middle. No, unless it's you know, unless it's like um, pretty clear that Rafa, Rafa's first, second, first, second, third, which I think first, second, third is pretty clear. Honestly, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Tonio just got such crazy good shape, the bubbly roundness. Because quads just like hang like that outside, man. Yeah. Obviously, if Rafael hadn't shown up, Tonio would have this. Yeah. Easily. The Martin be- side chest is looking is absolutely insane. Do I remember Muscle Builder? I wasn't buying it back then. That was a, that was Muscle and Fitness before it became Muscle and Fitness. Yeah, but I have a few of those. I have them over there. I'm selling some of them from the from the early '80s, the late '70s and early '80s. Yeah, Muscle makes you sell um, back issues. So I got a bunch of back issues. I had the '81 Lippy in it. Like I wear that thing cover to cover. Oh we God. all do. That, that's yeah. That's what people don't understand is when those things came out, they were like the Bible talk. Uh, we would read everything over and over again. I would read like <laughs> if they covered like the Olympia of the Arnold, I would read those reports three, four, five times. I know. I, I'm glad it wasn't the only one. I mean, because all the time. You know, now anybody can be a writer and can post crap on the internet with no credentials and no screening. Back then. Only the best people were selected by like Joe Weider or Bob Kennedy to write for yeah. their magazines. Like Peter McGuff and Julian Schmidt, their writing was like another level. You know, I there, there were our eyes. I can't even dream of writing the way Peter and, and Julian used to write. It was they so put, detailed. They bro. had to give you the experience of being there without videos because we didn't have videos. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, Tonio. We, we got Tonio and Vito. What's this about for wow. second? Wow. Wow. This is. is he- Good for Vito. This is a battle for second, yeah. Yeah, that tells you they got they've got Rafael first. Did and Vito now, catch him then? Maybe I don't know. I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't think I would. I'd still give it to Tonio. The I would is, too, man. Good Vito with that vacuum. That's very impressive. But Tonio's got him when it comes to the back. He Tonio is just like popping everywhere. Separation, definition, everything. He's yeah. Vito is massive. Vito is massive. He's got him on sheer mass. But you right. know what? I bet he has like 20 pounds on him, but you don't, it doesn't look oh, yeah. like yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. look at that. We just yeah. smacked him on the ass. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing is that good Vito has sharpened up a lot from this afternoon, like I said before. He looks so good. Uh, I think he leans back too far on that double buy. It takes away. And we've seen cases where comparison round has just basically been the deciding factor of what makes the winner in the show, or even second and third. They're, they're giving him a chance. He's giving him a chance, man. Like you mm-hmm. got You can't say you didn't get a, you didn't get a shot. You know, right? To, to show what you you got against um, Tonio. So what's he doing there? Look, my legs are bigger than your legs, I guess. <laughs> Tonio's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> touching me. Leave me alone. I see. Yeah. Show me on the doll where he touched you. Maybe that's Ukrainian. <laughs> he he's Ukrainian, isn't he? Is he? I don't I know. I believe, yeah, I believe he is. You have to make the By distinction. Way. You can't just say Russian. Like we used to just say Russian no. for everybody. I used to say yeah. I was. Half, I said for years up until that war started. I was saying I'm half Russian for my whole life. <laughs> Once we went to war, I said I had to clarify. Nope, I'm half Ukrainian. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> you gotta right, fix I'm, that. I'm, I'm American. I was born in America. Obviously, I'm a U.S. citizen. Oh, look, dude. Oh my goodness! This is for the. Are crowd. you serious? This is for the crowd. Has this to be. be. Has to be. There's no way. I mean, Vita what? looks great. But no, no way. Come on now. <laughs> I think they're just comparing them. To, you know, just to. Because there's only nine guys, and these people yeah, pay right. money to be in the seats. Yeah, they're just trying to give the to give the crowd a good show. It's, yeah, I would count. love to see this, like at the Olympia, maybe like have Derek and Hadi, Derek and Samson, like just the two on two poses. But yeah. I just think that there's just so many guys that they can't have that kind of individual attention. You know what I mean? It would, right. it would, it would make for a great, great show. But you got 30 guys up there. There's no time. Ain't nobody got time no. for that in 11 divisions. But here, no. they have time because yeah. this is it. It's They're done after this, I think. Xavier was yeah. saying good veto possibly to win the show. I disagree with that. I do think ah. this is Raphael Brandau's win. But I looked at some of the comments on his podcast, and a lot of people were leaning towards that direction. Were they from Brazil? Probably. Well, Rafael's from Brazil. It's it's Brazil. I mean, Rafael's 
Brazilian. Vito's not Brazilian. He lives there and he speaks Portuguese now, but he's not Brazilian. Right. People love the underdog, man. They they love yeah. that. The, you know what I mean, underdog, right? But they're they're not judges. But like, it's no. just it's a it's a different like when you're judging with your heart to then like you try to make an informed decision on physiques, right? It's mm. a whole it's a totally right. different ball game, yeah. you know. And also, good Vito is a fan favorite. He's been the fan favorite for the past year. People have wanted to see this man on stage for the longest time against yeah. someone like Rafael. You know, so we were waiting. Yeah, oh, so and much. now here's his pro debut, and you know we're seeing him in action. I'm gonna check but, the socials, Rafael. You know how you, you know how they are sometimes. It, it's like they'll say, "No, this guy is gonna win," and it's somebody totally yeah. different. And when it is somebody exactly. totally different, they start going insane. Oh God! Take it. They, they, this, you know, some bodybuilding fans are like European or or like South American soccer fans. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's that kind of <laughs> yeah craziness to them. They're working them though, man. Like they're actually working them hard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but this is this is really the, the top two here. If we're being real, yeah, oh, yeah. Man, I love this pose. That's that's one. That's my favorite pose for Tony. Was his front lat. He looks great in that man. I mean, I'm getting Dexter Dexter Jackson flashbacks. Dexter Rafael is he just, looks amazing he, there, though. They both they're both great. And man, I mean, Tonio's back. <laughs> this is a this is just a nasty pose for Tonio. Because look at that look, from the yeah. track the all the way down, it's all so thick. And the del the delts, bro, the delts are just so thick yeah. and round. Crazy V taper. Look at that. That is a cobra. That's nuts. Rafael is no slouch in that shot either. No, but Tonio. Wow. That's nuts. Rafa is winded. Well, they're all, I'm sure they're all. Yeah, tight. it's it's hard. Like that's not. I mean, listen, these doing this over and over. It's not like NPC, like a local NPC show, right? This yeah. is just these guys are getting worked, worked. And don't yeah. forget, like they're dried out, tired, exhausted, probably haven't slept. So, you know, magnify what we do times five. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, we both we both have been at the at the national level. I was up there for all it, it felt like two seconds. Yeah. Trying, you know, I was in Masters Nationals. There were 32 guys in my class when I did it. They didn't have time to really look at us that no. but these guys, they get a really good look. Tony was getting better as he poses. Very close. I agree. It's close. Yeah. You know, not... If he got some first place votes, it wouldn't shock me at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Catherine, you're right. They did. They worked the hell out of those guys because, like I said, there's only nine guys in the show, and they want the fans to get their money's worth. And now they're Not right back at it. Pose down. Pose down. Oh, it's so dark up there at the front of the stage. Go though. back up. Oh, no. Uh, you can't Ooh, see anything, Turn out man. the lights. No. Shape and shift of the coal mine. Oof. Oof. <laughs> no. Damn. Old magazine from the That's... 70s. Small magazine. 100 pages. Bobby and Wayland powerlifting. I think he's talking about the Iron Man from the 70s. Is for, it was was a pretty small small yeah. magazine. That's what I think he's talking about. It was like a, looked like a pamphlet size. But yeah. Okay. It was like tiny, wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. I remember going to uh, their offices back in the early 90s. When they were in Marina del Rey, and they had a bunch of the old issues behind glass, and they were oh, small. Nice, they were like a book. They were like a booklet size. It's just going to say, man, when they put Tony and Rafael, you can see how polished Tony was. Yeah, well, Tony looks great, man. Tony looks great. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to fall out of my chair if he wins. No, it wouldn't shock me. Like I'd, I'd be surprised, but I'm not going to like. Oh my god, what the hell are they thinking? Now, people in Brazil may, you know, take that a little differently if he oh, wins the show. Dang. So. Diamante, yeah. Grow Supplements, Black Skull, Probiotica, They're doing that Gold, Muscleover, Official yeah. Pharma, Lipoxiderm, FTW, Tem Masters, Muscle Store, Laganesha, Three, and Darkness. Four, Supplement companies over there, big, big bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They two hours ahead of us, Ron, for some. In quinto lugar. Quinto lugar, fifth place. Premiando. Primeiro vamos. Max Titânio dando uma medalha de participação. Nosso patrocinador global. Luquinhas e Pacho representando a Max Titânio. Okay. Okay, all right. All right, they're putting the medals on everybody. Everybody gets a medal. Participation medal. 
I wonder if Ramon will give a give an award out. What was the prize money for this? You know, the first Nobody, place we can I can never find prize money for these shows listed like anywhere. Any he's of. always been you always taking you. the prize money listed. Always. Antes de eu premiar, eu gostaria de trazer. We know for the Olympia, Black Series, uh, Slam. Yeah. No centro do palco, in the middle of the stage, um dos maiores fisiculturistas de todos os tempos aqui no Brasil, sete vezes. Mr. Olympia, Flex Lewis. Oh, Flex is giving out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Flex Lewis. Flex Lewis, my daughter, Flex Lewis. One of the best of all time. Flex Lewis, seven times Mr. Olympia. His cans are still humongous. This has been by far. I watched the new Roadhouse, and Conor McGregor looks like a much smaller version of Flex Lewis. Does he really? Jack. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Falando que tá super feliz de estar de volta aqui, que ele, lógico, adora o Brasil, essa é a melhor experiência dele. Flex, yesterday wow. I asked Correa, if you guys are going to compete one more time to get out, get out of retirement, what do you think? Eu perguntei ontem se o Correa e ele vão fazer mais uma luta, e ele vai sair do, da aposentadoria. Is he well, no. talk about doing the last dance. Uh -oh. I said it could be anything, hip-hop, samba, whatever you want. Ah. But... <laughs> For me, listen, I have the passion, I have the love. But, this is going to be in my DNA for the rest of my life. But, but now I get to yeah. see these incredible athletes and live through them and get to see yeah, them. He's done. He's done. Reach the highest of yeah. Too bad, and too I bad. Met some incredible, incredible future Mr. and Miss Olympia champion. And let me tell you something Brazil will be holding them titles in the future. Olha, só vou falar uma coisa. Ele falou que achou que o Brasil ia ganhar me, esse título no futuro. Stomach, his digestion, he can't eat the food that he needed to, to, to compete. Oh, no shit. I thought in 2018 or 2019, he would have had a nice shot of winning that show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at him, look at him. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> for a guy that's been retired for, three, for five, six, so, seven years almost. <laughs> that's insane, man. Wow. 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 I yeah. think you're right. He's crying. He's showing for him. He's very happy. Top five, man. That's awesome. André Carlo. Pegando o Max Pacho. That's awesome, man. É isso. Ano de esporte é emoção. This guy should hit some more shows. Yeah. Oh, definitely, bro. Em quarto lugar. Quarto lugar. Entregando Max Titânio, Luquinha. William Martins. Yeah, that's right, William. There you go. Martins, okay. Top Could Vito do better than third? Gonna find yeah. Out. Gonna find yeah. Out. It, it would be a shock, but. Na terceira colocação do Arnold Sports Festival South America. Vitali Godi Vito. Good Vito. There we go. Godi Vito, top yeah. three. Good Vito. Fazendo seu pro debut também com chave de ouro. Good show on four, man. We said good Vito in yeah. third. Nice pro debut. Very nice pro debut, man. Very good. Yeah. He can fix the color stuff for next week. It'll be much better, too. Yeah. Na segunda colocação. He's in shape. This is 10 anos desse evento histórico. Obrigado, Ana Paula Leal, Felipe Bonilha. Grandes histórias. Em segundo lugar. Segundo lugar. Quem será, hein? Meu Deus. Na segunda colocação. Tony Burton. Tony Burton. Yeah. Tony Burton, yes. Tudo colocado. E levando a vaga para o Liga. Listen to that crowd. Levando Crazy, isn't it? They're going bananas. Life is good. Yeah. Tony Burton. Tony Burton. Palmas para Tório Burton of the United States. Você bem vindo aos grandes campeões que vem aqui. Very good show, Rafa. O último guerreiro. O símbolo 
da Muscle Contas é a espada aqui no Arnold Sports. O último guerreiro é Rafael Brandão. Rafael, Rafael Brandão. É isso. Ninguém mais sentado. Levanta todo mundo. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Wow. Boys, that's white. Cadê o barulho? Oh, this is white. Is there a baby in there? Is that his wife? I haven't turned the volume so. down. This guy's loud. Entregando também a premiação Mitch 45. Whew. I'm assuming that's his wife and maybe pregnant because I saw him pat her belly. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm reading Let's too much into it. Let's hope it's not some random. Not the trophy girl I just met. Yeah, trophy girl. Ah. <laughs> Raymond Jones, boo! Oh, the, he says robbery. Really? Yeah, he, he really? had Tony on winning. I mean, Tony oh. looked good, but listen, you know, Rafa, it's, it's, he's, there's just more of him, right? Just, Tony looked awesome, but like, this bigger guy is it's hard. Vamos fazer barulho São Paulo! Eles merecem! Yes! Porque aqui são 10 anos! Hot damn! Well, I'll... That's one of the biggest cats on stage. I was right about them all, except for... Fourth and fifth. That was I was off on that. Yeah, William should have placed fourth. I I don't know. I could see so William. Was Giles. It's not it's, like it's, you know, William was that. William wasn't bad. His posing was awkward, but you know I I don't have a problem with him placing fifth over. No, he was Andre. hard condition. You know, the condition was good. You know what I mean? So, but Andre Andre shape man that with a little more polish that dude's gonna be dangerous, dude. Yeah. He's one to watch this year for sure. Yeah. yeah. Tony is better. Uh, he's not that short. Tony is not that no. short. He's about five no. seven. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't enough. dwarf. He's like, yeah, he's not. That's not a short. Sorry. That's not short in bodybuilding. No. No. <laughs> this ain't no. the NBA, guys. And, and, and whenever, whenever these guys say their height, you always subtract at least one inch from what they're saying. And now, technically, we have the first qualified for 2024, yeah. which is Rafael yeah. Brando. Oh. That is true. Yeah, hey, you're right. Everyone else so there's what, like, like, you're right. So there's four people qualified now. Politics. So Brandon Curry, five. Really? Well, I, I think both of their sponsors, Tonio's and Rafael's, were sponsors of the show. So I don't think you can cry politics over the Yeah, you know, too, it's not it's not like Flex being there it was years ago, bro. You know, it's not like it was. If Tonio had blown him off the stage and taken second, I'd I'd put some weight on these comments, but no. I mean Tonio right. was no. great. But Rafael looks damn good. You can't you can't say that Tonio destroyed him or anything like that. He did not. Oh, that's Rafael's wife, Karen. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, we figured. We figured. <laughs> and everybody, listen, everybody that comments doesn't know how the judging works. They just see their favorite yeah. not winning or not placing well, and they just oh, it's bullshit. It's crap. It's about no, man. Come on, yeah. like you know, you know. T- Tonio could very well win in Detroit next week. Who else? Who right, exactly. Antonio yeah. Martin, Martin, Ron, what's his name? Ron, Ron Joe, what's his name? Ron, Ronald something. Ronald, that's that black, black dude, really good shape, doing the show. I forgot his name. Ronald mm-hmm. something. Ronald, I but, think I would know a Ronald. Huh. What the hell's his name? I'm, I'm gonna name. find out, but it's some mm-hmm. decent guys. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd still have Tonio for my favorite. You know, we'll yeah, do a, of course. We, we'll do a preview. Giles and I'll do a preview of it and give our honest opinion. Rafael is a deserving winner. Be bigger, which is sort of deal, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. have no problem with, with that. Winning New York easily, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Karen, like, literally second in the ground. What? What? I think he's talking about, like, how we call oh, women Karens. Is that what he means? No, no, that's Raphael's <laughs> wife, Karen. Right, right. Oh. oh, he thought Raphael deserved second. Really? Yeah. You know, that's You're yeah, not think... wrong. You're not wrong. You can no. have your opinion. Subjective. If, if you're a little, more, of, like, a little more conditioned, shape, Raphael's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. I... Uh, and yeah, he had, I think Raphael was a little bit off the condition that we saw in Ohio a few weeks back. But man, uh, it was still enough. It was enough. You know, you and they may kind of push for the Olympia, dude. You know, that pushed that condition pretty hard going into October. You know what I mean? Just, we, we don't know. They still have time, you know, to make some improvements. Thanks for watching. Know, some months away. Oh, yeah. I mean, they got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll take the volume off of that because these guys are loud. All right, They're so the next excited, question man. is, what happens in Detroit? 
Yeah, yeah. And we don't yeah. we don't have the full list. Jim Mike Awesome. Thanks for the watch party. Thank you for watching Balder. Ron Jim Mike. Thank awesome. you, Balder. Appreciate Thank all you guys who joined us. Appreciate you all. Yeah, you have your choice of airlines, and thank you for flying Delta. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Let's see Detroit. Yeah, big big day for uh, me and Jen. Our daughter turns thirty tomorrow. Thirty, my God. Really? Yeah. Whoa! Oh no shit! Yeah. That's when you know you're not a kidding. When you have a child that's thirty, it's like okay, you're not a youngster anymore. Damn, dude. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. and happy there, birthday. He's down there in Miami with her now. They're actually at uh, her birthday dinner right now. Oh, holy God, winning man. First year. I had I had Raphael winning. I didn't have Yeah, it too. I, I love Tony and I think it was close, but I would have given it to you. Had I been a judge, you know, we're not seeing it up close like they are, the judges, but from what I could see on the stream, Raphael had it. He had it. Fair. Yeah. yeah. He it was it, it, it was fair. It, it was there's no kind of crazy stuff, no hanky panky. This show and the shows thus far were judged accordingly. You know what I mean? But and Rafa was good. Was he as good as Columbus? Probably not, but no, it was enough. still good enough to win. It's just his he's got a lot of stuff going on with his physique, man. Just he's tall, he's wide, his beautiful shape, narrow waist. He he improved. He put muscle. Most guys that take a year off, it doesn't show. Right. But his his year off, it he it, it worked. It came in better. And uh it's gonna be interesting to see him next to some of those like next to hunt the, the hunters and the Andrew Jacks. Like this Rafa, right? A bigger Rafa. He just stood next to, uh, in Ohio, we had those shots looking at him next to Hadi and next to Samson. He did not get outmasked by much. And no. those are, the, I mean, Samson's 300 pounds. Hadi's a freak. He's huge. So if he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys, he's done it. You know, two years ago, I liked Rafael, but I was like, ah, he's not big enough. No, he, exactly. He, you can't have a guy that that size in the top five at the Olympia just just doesn't work. And now he's got no, it. dude. It's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, you know. It's just it's a, it's a shape. There's a lot of shapely guys, and then there's Nick. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting because you can't look past his gnarly condition, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's still part of the equation. Right. But we saw before, a Samson wasn't as hard. Still beat him. Rafa is gonna be as hard. Yeah. How's that work? You know, it's going to be uh, the judges got their hands full for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to let everyone who wants to see the scores, they typically come out the next day on ifbbpro.com. There's a, there's a, a, a tab, bunch of tabs at the top. You hit the one that says results and they give you the scores for the, the most recent shows. I would be, I'd, I bet you're right. I bet Tony got some first place votes. Yeah. I think he did. I, yeah. I, I would not have did. I don't think Raphael got, got straight, straight first plates from everybody. No. Well, just, just, you know, outstanding performance today. Yeah. No yeah. slouch, Tonio. And Tonio, Tonio should he hold leveled up, up, man. Yeah. He's in the conversation. He's arrived. So, you know, now a, a little more, like three or four more pounds. He could be top top six of the Olympia. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's just, well, you don't think about Ron, like Brand, Brandon Curry's, how much longer he's got. You know, he's getting older. Rami, we don't know what's going on with Rami. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's just a change. And this. The top five is going to rotate. It's it's not like it was before where Flex, Chris, Sean, Nasser, you know, Paul in there. It's just any one of these guys, man, can like pop in that top four, top five every every single year. It's cool. It's 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 um it's different faces, man. It makes it more interesting to see different faces in that top five. Very true. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting time because we are seeing every few years we see that changing of the guard. You see a rotation where. Some of the guys who've been on top, they start either leaving or just sliding down the placings, and you got new talent coming up. It's like any sport. The bodybuilding's yes. always been that way, and it's it's good. It keeps things interesting. You know, if these guys yeah, stayed on deep. top, if everybody stayed on top for like twenty years, it would suck. Yeah, it would. You, you wouldn't want to see that, dude. You know what I mean? You <laughs> want to see that? So, yeah. it's 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 going good. So what's next? Detroit, and then New York and Toronto, right? New York and Toronto, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then we start the summer shows like Chicago, yeah. Tampa, Texas, mm -hmm. yeah. Orlando, for Orlando Mike, too. Orlando, mm -hmm. yeah. Mike will be at the yeah. Tampa show for sure. And Orlando, we we're getting the tickets for Orlando this week. Ah. Tampa, like hopefully when they go on sale. Good time. Yeah. Orlando's cool because it's, it's you're right there. It's small, it's intimate, just bodybuilding. You know what I mean? It's phenomenal. Betty puts on a good show. Yeah, for all those years that I went to, it took me like the third year I went to Tampa Pro to realize it was on the opposite side of Florida. 
from Orlando, the west, the Gulf Coast yeah. side, not the uh, what do they yeah. call the east side, the Atlantic side? That, yeah, Atlantic Coast. We're the we're the Gulf, the Gulf, technically the Gulf side. The Gulf side, yeah. The Gulf side, yeah. Right. That's a, a geography whiz, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite year. You were there that year, Mike. You were there every year. Do you remember the year that Comic Con was there at the same time? It was literally next yes, door. Yes, that was wild, what? wasn't it? So the and the oh. people from Comic Con were coming into the hotel because it was just like a the next building over. They were coming yeah. into our hotel bar and like young kids with their cosplay outfits on yeah. were trying to get served was, at the bar. And the bartender was oh. like, "We need to see some ID." And they're like, "But I'm but I'm Superman. I'm Batman." And they're like, "No, no, 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 no. I need some ID." No, they're like sixteen-year-old uh. kids trying to get served at the bar. That was great, man. The, the freak show. It was the freak show of freak shows. Bodybuilding Comic Con, man. It was nutty. Who do you have winning, Mike? I, you know, like I, I prefer Tonio's physique. I love his physique, but yeah. Rafa stood out, man. Rafa deserved this win, but Tonio, because I'm, I'm a short dude, so I like that kind of, that kind of Dexter Sean Ray kind of look. Yeah. So, but I think I, I but Tonio to me, like he had a better physique, but Rafa, man, Rafa's just, he's special, dude. That's a special individual, bro. He's yeah. he's um he's getting to that point to where the the momentum is starting to carry, and yeah. so we're gonna see a collision in October. Mm -hmm. yeah. Props to Neil Hill. Neil has done a great job with him, dude. His, his, his newer coach, nice yeah. and slow, slow and steady. Nothing crazy. Didn't blow him out. You know what I mean? So he brought him in in great condition. This is Caleb Pike. I hope you weren't watching the stream when you're supposed to be watching the road. Caleb, I don't want you crashing because of our yeah. Screen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't even text him. Not good, Caleb. I, no, I don't no. Him. I'm literally stuck in a standstill on the on the highway, and there's construction, and no one's moving. It's the only time I would ever even think about texting on my phone. No, I, not. I well, this, in, put the car in park first. Yeah. Down here, it's insanity. The people down it's on the freeway. They're doing this. I'm like, oh my god, someone's like, I'm gonna lose my uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, Florida's just. They call it distracted driving. It's more dangerous than drunk driving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, no. God dang, dude. But you see, you, you see people driving with, and they're look literally looking at their phone. I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. no. I don't, and then just go on this land. I'm like, if you, I swear, if somebody hits me, I'm gonna like just go to jail for assault. So I'm just gonna lose my mind. <laughs> A former <laughs> boss of mine, my... I'm not gonna say who, used uh -huh. to get mad at me when I wouldn't respond to his text when I was driving. What? And I'm like, I'm not gonna die for you. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. No. No, we're dying for her. Sorry. I'm not dying or going to prison for you. Sorry, buddy. You, That's you not can, happening. I, I tried. There's a feature where you can like text back with by speaking, but they, yeah. it never it never gets it right. Every time that you no. try to talk, it every it never comes out right. And you'd have and they'd say send message. You'd be like, no, and you try it again, it still <laughs> screws it up. And after a while, I was like, F this, it never gets it right. It's just not worth it. I've had a couple Did of Manny, those. <laughs> Manny said, one. "We have in her car. We have the guy. He's got an Indian accent. So every time we do directions, what? <laughs> why? Why? Did you say, it? Why? We had we were just messing around one day, and we just left it on that accent. So it sounds like the guy from The Simpsons, from my poop from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, it sounds man. exactly like him in the car." You could set it to like different accents, huh? <laughs> yes. That doesn't even make yes. sense. Like I could see where you could set it to different languages, but why would you want to yeah. hear English in an Indian accent? Isn't that kind of like I th I'm, I'm fascinated by it. I love yeah. talking to that guy. I'd I'd be offended <laughs> if I was an Indian and I found out they were doing that. I know, right? Yeah. It's hilarious. You guys are making you guys are making Thanks, fun Hyundai. of us. Hyundai. Yeah, Hyundai Elantra. Uh, yeah. Right to that. Funny. Right to that. I've been in that car. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Very roomy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like when you guys drive. Always always uh always a pleasure seeing you guys when we do that. Well Mandy drives safe when you're here, so she that's not how it usually is, but <laughs> I'm glad you're in the car because I feel safe. I appreciate she's not gonna it. kill you. We yeah, usually, me too. We usually don't go too far. We're just trying to get to like the nearest pizza place. At one o'clock in the morning, yes. What's that? Where do we always, everything's close? What's that pizza judge. place you kept going to? What's, what's the place we go to? Oh, me Mellow, Mellow Mushroom. Yeah, Mellow Mushroom. that was in Orlando. Oh, Good stuff. That place is delicious. Oh my god, it's great. Love we it. Took, we took Love my daughter it. there. Uh, she when she yeah. came, home, she took the train up from Miami at the last Olympia, and she went to lunch with me, Mike, and Mandy. It was a good yeah. time. It was great, man. Thirty <laughs> years old, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't believe it. She doesn't wow. look. She's got a baby face. She doesn't look thirty. But ninety four. What? 94, then, right? She was born 94. 
Yeah, I got it. Uh, in case I forget, it's uh, Marisa. The shitty ass looks like a prison tattoo. Marisa ninety four, C Christian ninety nine. In case I, in case I. Forget. Dude, she was knowledge? born the day after Kurt Cobain died. That's true. Yeah, we. I used to. Oh, yeah. Wow. I used to joke that she was a you know reincarnation or something, which is. Uh, <laughs> she oh. wasn't. She doesn't have any musical talent. She's a DJ. <laughs> So she does. Have an, she has an affinity for music. Yeah. Affinity for music. There you go. He doesn't play any instruments or anything like that. Christian plays guitar now. Does son. he really? Yeah. Wow. He's self, That's self-taught. He no worships. Shit. He worships a guy. You probably never. There's a guy named Buckethead. Have you heard uh, of him? So uh, he wears like a Michael Myers mask. Well, it's like a manic, a white mannequin mask, and a KFC bucket on his head. And he's got long, curly black hair. Uh, he never. He never shows his face. And he does like two hour concerts. It's just like they're songs, but they're all just guitar and guitar solos yeah. for you listen to the guitar for two hours. We're actually going to see him again in May. Oh, uh, nice. I, we went to New York City a couple of years ago and saw him. He's 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 a virtuoso. He he took Slash's place in Guns N' Roses for the Chinese oh. Democracy album tour. And oh, so he's legit. He's legit. He's, even uh, Slash says this guy's better than me. He, he says outright wow. he's a better guitarist than I am. But I remember seeing okay. them. They played the MTV Awards when he was when he was their guitarist, and I had no idea that there wasn't Slash. So like, what the hell is Slash doing with that stupid bucket on his head and that stupid mask? He looks ridiculous. But it wasn't him. It was Buckethead. But, you know, I just saw the curly black hair and I thought it was Slash. Assume. Yeah. There you go. Ah, we got a bu- <laughs> great. Another Buckethead fan. Yeah. Yeah. My son. Wow. He's got. He comes out with a new album like every every month because it's just guitar wow. solos. He's got like 500 albums. Oh my God. Yeah. That's revenue. That's well, great revenue, isn't it? Well, I don't think he, it's, he's like an underground cult kind of thing. He doesn't have the mainstream success right. with these other people, but he's got very loyal fan base. These people worship him because he's oh, very nice. A man. lot of people consider him the greatest guitarist of like this generation. Better you know, than he, Prince? Oh, oh, yeah. He's way better really? than Prince. Yeah. If you wow. ever listen to him, you know, it's not my thing. I want to hear some vocals every once in a while. <laughs> Uh, I love guitar. Right. But I don't want to just hear guitar for hours, but he is pretty damn amazing at what he does. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see him. I just pulled it up. Oh, Buckethead. He looks like the uh, the jet the the Kai Green mask. Remember Kai Green was posing in the subway with that mask on, the white mask. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a mannequin. Okay. Mask. It's a mannequin. Yeah, mask. yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to learn something every day. Yeah, yeah. Buck- yeah. Now you know about Buckethead. All there right. we go. There you go. Guys, uh, props to the people in Brazil for wrapping their show up nice and early. Yes. They're Restaurants in, are probably open down there too. And they're mm-hmm. only an hour ahead of us, which is awesome. Oh my yeah, god. Which, yeah. We like which shows I like the European shows that are ahead because then we get done earlier. <laughs> like, yeah. Because yes. the, the West Coast shows are hard, oh, man. Those dude. West Coast shows uh, for us, they suck. Oh they do. terrible. And poor Giles. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I don't know if I. I don't know if I could. Why I would be able to stay up like that, man? Because that, that four o'clock, three o'clock, a couple years ago. Yeah. I was going mm. stir crazy, dude. It was just. It was so many bikini girls. Oh, we got I a drug drug, so bikini girls. drug so question. Long. I'll answer. I, I'm <laughs> transparent. So I'm doing. I'm down to two eighty a week of testipionate, and one hundred of Deca. So oh, nice. my test is taken down to two eighty. I feel fine. I'm still, I'm, I can't drop any weight. I've been trying to get under 220 now for like a month. I'm, I'm always around 222 to 225. Mm. I think I might actually have to kick up my cardio or cut my carbs. Damn it. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use Clen ever again. I'm all set. I'm not going to use Trend yeah. ever again. I'm good. Yeah. I'm trying to be healthy, trying to live. You know, now I'm really. You know what, dude, Ron? Yeah. I miss those pumps, though. though. I miss oh, that, that A yeah. bomb pump, bro. That real, like, Dude. Crazy! You can't move or wash your hair. Arm pump to where, or your back, Dude, your uh, lower back hurts after legs. I remember. I I should be because I take I take five milligrams of Cialis every day, mainly for the pump and training. Because you know pre workout products are great, but you're not going to get the same pump as you no. get from like a, an actual pharmaceutical vasodilator like Viagra yeah. or Cialis. But uh, I remember, geez, early two thousands when I had like especially like the highlights. That's when my pumps were just insane. My delts were like this big. I could press like 130s, uh, 140s for dumbbells overhead. I could do 315 behind the neck. I'm paying for it now. Oh my but God. the pumps, man, 
I remember I would have oh. to do, I would do a few sets of like cable or dumbbell laterals, and then I have to stop and walk around the gym for like ten minutes because I couldn't move. <laughs> Just I couldn't, I couldn't move my arms. The pump was like so tight. I literally couldn't do anything else for about 10 minutes. Good old days, man. Good old days. Now it just hurts. Everything, Everything just hurts. hurts. No pump, wah, just pain. Wah. <laughs> Dude. Wah. My knees, my back. Wah. Oh, God. Dude, every I morning, I eat my breakfast with an ice pack on my lower back in the chair behind me. Yeah. Just because even Shoulder, just, ice my shoulders. Just sleeping hurts my lower back now. <laughs> yeah, I got to sleep. I sleep like this with the pillows. So my shoulder doesn't hurt. Uh, I can't sleep on the other side. It's just... <sighs> it's fun though. It was a fun ride, bro. We had a great run. A fun man. ride. We had a great I run. I snap, crackle, pop. I get up. I hear a snap, crackle, and pop. That's <laughs> so true. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Yeah, I feel totally. better about myself now. That's the thing, you know, it's great. We had those years of training super heavy and being yeah. big, strong bastards, and you just, you know, you can't keep that up forever. You try to stay that no. big and that strong forever. Your body just says f you at some point. Yeah, you yeah. can't like I like having my you know liver, kidneys, hearts running pretty well. So yeah, I and mean, if you're lucky, but, you you quit while the quitting's good. You get out while yeah, the getting's you gotta, good before you, you gotta push have the exit strategy. Yeah, got to exit plan. Luck runs out eventually. It always does. Bro, <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. it's not gonna wood. Just, just very still grateful here. to still be here. A lot of a lot of our uh, peers are not with us anymore. Yes, that is very so, true, bro. Uh, every day so above gotta, the ground is a good day. Thank you, God. Hell yes, yeah. ain't that the truth? Yeah. Preach, bro. I could say God because it's uh, they all believe in God. All these religions, right? So <laughs> they call them. You're safe. Things. Yeah, we're good. I'm you're not, safe. I, I don't yeah. know. Channel, anybody. you can say what you want. <laughs> you're not. Uh, you're not offending anyone in Iran or, or politics. Uh, you know, no religion Brazil. on this channel. <laughs> there you go. Good to I'm go. Not, but I'm not voting for Biden. So anyway, <laughs> dude, I, the cause you need to make on average now when he took office, I'm not saying it's because of him. It's all his fault. But I just saw a stat to buy a house. Now you need to make an average of $110,000 a year to afford the average house in the U S it's crazy. Yeah. Whereas uh, four years ago, it was $75,000. That is now it's down here, it's 90. That's like insane. That's thirty-five thousand dollars more you need to make years. than you did. But that's how much houses. I mean, we had our house appraised. Oh, it doesn't matter what it's worth. I'm not selling, but this house when we bought it was like uh, two seventy-five in twenty two thousand one. It's worth like five fifty now. I'm not selling it, but that's just yeah. that's outrageous how much prices have gone. Rent. Isn't that crazy, dude? Rent is horrific everywhere now. One bedroom down here is like fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars for like we're talking like seven hundred square feet. Oh, that's like cheap. 15, that's cheap. You said two thousand, like eighteen hundred bucks, you can get rent. Yeah, for like seven hundred square feet. That's cheap. No sell. No, yeah, I agree. No sell. I would never. Someone, you know, if that's like the, you can't ask Americans how much they make. That's like no. a taboo subject. That's you don't do that, dude. That's like worse than asking about their sex life. So you don't go there. <laughs> It's personal. <laughs> That's so true. It's true. It's like you don't ask us that. <laughs> no, and it, and you know, sometimes people at, at my job they discuss. I tell me, don't you can't discuss that. No, because no. somebody's gonna get pissed off, and it's gonna cause a whole big oh, I've, a whole big issue right now, dude. dude when people when people at companies that that's been the cause of so many upheavals, and when somebody oh. finds out someone gets paid more than them to do the same job or whatever, that's dude. Listen, I found out I was right. working this one job for like two and a half years kicking ass this little 25 year old comes in i see his salary it's way more than mine i'm mm. like i'm walking out this goddamn door right now i told my boss like i'm leaving you need to fix this right now. i'm going out the door this kid i had chest hair ordering this kid and he comes <laughs> comes in i'm like no you gotta fix this or i'm walking but again like you can't it just causes <laughs> so many issues bro I'm going all I over the place but don't discuss since it. you bring up salaries that, that quiet on set documentary on max right now or the uh, yeah. doc, docu, it's not a doc. Yeah, this is a documentary series. It's about Nickelodeon and all the crap that yeah. went down yeah. there. There were two female writers on the Amanda show or all that. There were two Nickelodeon writers. I think they were writers for the Amanda show. They were the only female writers and they made them split a salary. All the male writers got a full salary, whatever they were being paid. And these women were told, oh, we can't afford this. So one of them went to the Writers Crazy. Guild and asked Crazy. them if, you know, is this is this legit? Can they do that? And they go, no. They can't do that. That's totally against all the Writers Guild rules and, and uh, policies. And they actually, she got fired by uh, by Schneider, whoever, Nickelodeon, for for 
blowing the whistle on that. What? For just asking for what everyone else was getting. So, you know, I'm sure it's That's it's awesome. it's across the board. You see this in all oh, kinds yeah, of business places, but yeah. Oh yeah. Can I say fuckery? Yeah, we're, we're we're way past the beginning of the video, but there's fuckery that goes on in, in like every company in the world. I'm sure. Oh, dude, it's crazy. I agree. I it, it, it probably worse before social media came around. Because you could get away with a lot more crap back then. You know um, what I mean? Yeah. I, I like the fact that people can't get away with all the crap they used to. No, Especially police. Up. I love good cops, but I don't love bad cops. <laughs> and, and it's um, all on video, bro. Everyone's got on one of these now. now. Everyone's got one of these and they can say, uh -huh. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm filming you Point now, that dude. Shit out. <laughs> I love it. Screwed, bro. Oh, Big time. Goodness. Big time. I think I'm going to wrap it up because uh, we've covered the show. Congratulations to Rafael yes. Brandeo. And congratulations to Tony O'Burton. I think Tony O really leveled up and established himself as a very, very legitimate threat in the open ranks now. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be discounting him for a minute from now on. No. And he's going to give Nick Walker hell at the New York Pro. I'm not saying he's beating Nick, yeah. but he's going to give Nick some hell. I'll tell you that. It's going to be a battle, bro. Can't wait. I I'll think so. I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I've already got my <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. You ready to rock. Bringing my boy down to Teaneck, New Jersey, to the New York Pro. Business trip. Yeah, love it. Good nice time. Good. Big good time, good. bro. Three-hour drive. So, guys, I want to thank Jen Jerisi. I want to thank nice Big Mike Cox. Guys are love awesome. It, love you guys. It's Appreciate it. The gang. The gang is still together. They couldn't keep us apart. Uh, <laughs> they couldn't break up. They couldn't break up the team, man. Nope. Team is strong. <laughs> right. And the right, best, bro. The best We're is yet stronger, to come. better than ever. Yeah. Yes. Which is sir. why I got to ask everyone, of course, to subscribe, like, share, and ring like, that share, bell. Ring the bell. Right down there, the guys. Big, the bigger this channel gets, the better content we can put out for you guys. We're going to roll it all back into the channel. So please, uh doesn't cost you a dang thing. Click all those things down there, share it on social media, get the views up. It, it all helps us out in every way possible. So appreciate all you guys who watched us live, took, play, took part in the chat. If you're watching on the replay, appreciate each and every one of you who watch these things. It helps us all out. And uh, we'll be back, man. We'll be back for the next one. So that's it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you all. That's been it for the 2024 Arnold Classic South America from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.